Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to be continuing our Breath of the Wild adventures. Last time, we started the Champion's Ballad properly, because time before that, we went in through the adventures of the one-hit plateau, which was nerve-wracking. And also, I only just now realized that the shrines for the uh, Champion's Ballad have a unique icon compared to the normal ones. Their big old foreheads actually stick out through. That's like neat. So right now, the only ones remaining will be Varutas, technically, but uh, the Mifa Ballad, and then the Orbosa Ballad. There's... I just... Uh, but one thing I almost forgot is we never went up Mount Lanayru. Well, at least I think it is, and there also appears to be like a similar... Well, at least there seems to be a structure up here and like a similar... What's it called? Uh, probably the Wisdom-like pond, similar how the like uh, down here is the Pond of Courage, and then up here in Akala was the Power one, where... Uh, Zelda was trying to awaken her mystical powers in each of the, like, uh, pools. And then, in fact, Mount Lanayru is the most important, I think, because technically one of the last memories where all the champions gathered here for uh, Zelda to come back down, and she said, oh, I couldn't do it, and then the Calamity striked, so we should, before all that, well, I guess technically... Should change that to blue for wisdom, I guess. So yeah, we're gonna probably begin down here. We'll go ahead and go up to Mount Lanayru just to see. Come to think of it, like, if there is a third... What is it called? A third pond similar to the Courage Pool and the Power Pool. Although that makes me wonder if Zelda ever went to the Courage one since it was deep in the jungle. But yeah, I've never gone up there, but there being a third one does imply that there should be a... like, third dragon. Because there's, a uh, Farosh, I think its name is. And we needed... It's scale for the... I forget. For one of them. I think we needed Farosh's scale to get into the courage. Like, uh... Or activate the courage pool, which then activated a shrine for us. Meanwhile, we needed Din Rawls, I think its name was. Din Rawls scale to uh, activate the power one. So if that's true, there should be a third dragon. Also, I probably should have talked to more people because I could have sworn that there was like a quest involving these three trees from a previous playthrough of mine, but that was a long time ago. And I probably just didn't talk to everybody like a fool. Also need to remind myself to use Rivali's Gale more, since it uh, regenerates a lot faster now. And it, but really, it's always regenerated faster. So we really should use it more. Although, hilariously, the places I'd be like, oh, I should use it should, would probably be in, like, the challenges of the sword and shrines, where I think those are all deactivated. Yeah, I'm gonna head up and see. Because I don't think I've ever gone up Mount Lanayru. Because usually in my playthroughs, I would come to Hatino Village very early on and be like, oh, big mountain, but it's cold up there. I can't do that yet. And then I would completely forget to come back. Link is just all mountain goat right now. Steep mountain cliff? Fuck you. 
Legs. Don't even need to climb with hands. What the fuck is that? For a moment, I'm just like, oh, is that one of the... the divine beasts? But it can't be. It was just like, oh, was I seeing a far-off divine beast? And now it's blizzarding, so I can't even get a good look at it. There was, like, blue crystals and, I like, a, a bit of red. Was it red eyes? Is there a big monster there? Speaking of dragons, like, maybe it's a dragon, but all the other dragons are flying around. And again, I have no idea what these dragon spirit things even are. I'm fairly certain the... Like, uh, blah, blah, blah. The lake, or not, like, the, the pond of power. The statue of the goddess there said, like, find the spirit Dinral and bring me his scale or something like that. Music's playing. Oh, hello. Uh, wrong thing entirely. Haha, <laughs> it worked! Oh, and that's... Oh, for a moment I thought that was Sapphire. But yeah, that was definitely the dragon music that was playing. Similar to Farash's. I saw your head move. Very rude, you touched into it. And again, the dragon music started again, but I don't know. Could just be my mindset, but it feels more ominous. That's very rude. Also, I think I hear things. From Twitch chat, howdy, hello, hello. We are uh, climbing Mount Laneru because I've never done that before, and something's up, I already feel. Oh, I keep, I keep forgetting that that happens. Also, that is new. I did not know that you could do that, weirdo. Mine. I can't believe I forgot that I had the space. But how am I doing today? I'm actually doing pretty good. Just overall, had to have been a, in a good vibe, even though I've kind of procrastinated my day away. I've been feeling good. So I definitely like uh, need to get out of my procrastination, try to write and draw later. And before we go do the rest of the champion ballad, I want to, like, uh, go up here because I distinctly remember, like, first off, like, the memory of, like, Zelda coming down from Mount Laneru, trying to awaken her powers at the, like, uh, Pool of Wisdom, and that not working, which was, uh, part of the... We've never killed these guys before, huh? But, like, yeah... Zelda came up here in one of the last memories to awaken her powers, but was unable to, and that led into the memory of the Calamity beginning. And again, all of the dragon music starting, what are you? Well, it's flesh. Well, the, the, actually, I think that was Malice. What, you have a Claymore? Freak! But yeah, there's things. I keep forgetting that I don't want to do that anymore because I don't want to use up my Daruk's power. But yeah, there's something up there and I am... Um... <laughs> Having the music just play again and again is ominous. Just very, very ominous.
It just keeps playing the music. But da 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 da. There's just like a lot of Lazalfos up here. Excuse me, I'll just pick up these chill shrooms. Did this guy actually deflect? Okay, that I you were in the blast there, my dude. You can't hide your sins. I need to be a little careful with my bombs to not start bad habits. Cause I don't want to accidentally, like, get into the bad habits and end up bombing myself. Oh, that doesn't affect me because, uh... Jesus fucking Christ. That's actually really good. Let's see. I've used both of these. I think I've used this one more, so yoink. But yeah, that... Activity da doesn't affect me. Let's see, 24, is there anything? Uh, that's good for smashing. So yeah, just replace my slightly used Lizalbo. Or a uh, diddly D. Are you the shiny? Or something was making shiny noises. Yeah, and there's also now some discordant music in there. So yes, yeah, something is up here that I have never experienced before. Let me quickly go through my weapons. And like, use things that I've... Well, apparently everything is... Guess I'll put you on. And the dragon music slightly more discordant than usual. I don't think I completed my thought earlier, but I realized that uh, my outfit prevents me from being frozen by Ice Lizalfos. So yeah, when I was talking about three dragons and not seeing one, I think we now know. It's covered in malice. I didn't even know that could happen. Huh. You have done well to find your way to this spring. You have overcome trials and obtained the spirit orbs. The one you see before you is the attendant to the spring of wisdom. This is Nadra, the blue spirit of Leneru. The servant of the goddess has looked over the spirits of this land for ages, unknown to the world of man. However, the dreaded malice unleashed by Calamity Ganon has possessed its body and reduced it to this state. You who have received the spirit orbs, free Nadra from this malice, show what your power can achieve. Well, I guess here's the requisite big eye boss. Oh, you're angry. I want to hit the little eyes. Can I not? I don't think I can. Uh, where's, uh, usually you guys have big ol' updrafts for me. Kind of rude. Maybe I just need to climb up more. Just hopefully you don't fly away. That would be very rude. Although that would be a little bit cool if you were like a recurring, like, area boss. But at the same time, that would be mean. I want to do it now. Hmm. 
Where is your updrafts? Will you come down to attack me? I think you... For a moment I thought you were. Well, something happened, but I think I missed it. Darn. I was hoping that it would. Gavali's Gale is now ready. Okay, I'm gonna climb this pillar and use Rivali's Gale to get a better angle. Oh, you're going. That's mean. Where are you going? I wasn't expecting you to leave. But now there seems to be updrafts. From Twitch chat. Hi, hello, hello. We are apparently in a pseudo, not really boss fight. I was not expecting this. So yeah, now you're probably moving to another area where your last eye will become hittable. At least I presume it to be your final eye. Also, God, you're moving quick for a spirit dragon. What the hell is that? Oh, I thought, like, the malice clouds it was making was a thing on the, gla the, the ground there for a moment. <laughs> Darn. Have to get some stamina. I think I had one more stamina thing. Oh, I have a few more stamina things. Don't think I need super much stamina. Just enough to do this. Dang it. And there I ran out of stamina. Take that! Unique. Interesting. I was not expecting one of the dragons to have been corrupted by malice. Oh, for a moment there, I thought you were going to explode. I guess technically you did, but not super hard. Huh. Interesting. I'm kind of glad I just took so long to get here, because if I had li limited stamina, that would have sucked. Thanks to your efforts, Nadra, the spirit of Mount Lineru, has been freed from the grips of an evil power. But a single ceremony remains. Now loose your arrow through the body of Nadra to free the spirit of this region. Be free! Interesting how this is like a... I need that sparkly, though, I think. Good, it lands here. Or will it land on top? It lands here. Good, good. This is the, sp uh, this is the spirit Nadra's scale. It fell when your arrow struck. It serves as proof of the courage you received from the one who served the spring since ancient times. Come, offer a scale from the blue spirit Nadra to the spring of wisdom. Interesting. And I guess, in a way, this also served as, like, a tutorial for, like, the scales and stuff. But, at the same time... I feel like that would be a bit difficult to do early into the game. Then again, it wasn't like it was attacking me, but still. You know it would be kind of funny? If I went in, and there was a full challenge, but then the monk was just like, You already freed the spirit, Nadra. That was challenge enough. Just come to my pedestal. Save the dragon. This world needs more dragons. Save all the dragons you can. Your path has shown itself. Now go forward. 
Well, fourth. Both basically the same thing. Well, all right then. Let us go and see. It's just amu amusing that I've, like, started this game three times and made it decently in two times. And I never went up Mount Lanayru. <laughs> Remember to stay hydrated, everybody. Oh, this is just a you did your challenge, congrats, have reward. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I'm Jin, uh, Jitan Sami. By entering this place, you've already proven your worth. That's kind of funny. What reward is in this chest? Hmm, a frost spear. Not what I desire. Although, come to think of it, what if none of these shrines are real, real? What? Because we know that the monks and divine beasts and stuff are capable of creating illusionary challenges that seem real. So what if it's possible all of these huge underground chambers are just creations of the monks, illusionary, and... Like, the chests and stuff we grab are given to us by the monk. If we earn them, basically. I don't know, it just... It's a game theory. I guess more hearts. Because really, I'm not really hurting for stamina all that much. And uh, hearts are really, really nice, especially when it comes to, like, the sword trials. As well as taking on the blights in the ballads. Well, if that out of the way, I guess first things first, we go to start the champion's ballad. And since we are going to Zora's Domain... Let us be... Ba -ba -da -ba. Hmm, trying to think the best way to get up there. Honestly, the best place might be to travel here, kind of ba ba, -da -ba. Yeah. But in honor of the Zora and Zora's domain, we be kind of a... We wear outfit now. From YouTube chat, hi, hello, hello. All right, <laughs> from I was just like, whoa, he's dead. Thing that we need to get to. But hello, hello. We just did uh, one thing that I never did before and freed Nedra from the malice at the Wisdom Pond. And now we're gonna go do the Zora's Domain. Oh, is it a Blood Moon? Because that's an ominous sight. <laughs> oh. Get out of here. Get out of here. So either that's something else ominous or that's the blood moon rising. It's the blood moon rising. Well, I guess I don't have anything like super major... I'm, like, worried about respawning. I just need to be sure that I'm not around any monsters that I just killed. I do wonder how the Blood Moon, like, 
But what's it called? Like functions. How does the malice use the power of the moon to revive the dead evils of the world? Just who knows? Malice is scary. That, I guess probably better to try and climb over here. This feels like it's uh, better. In fact, we could probably just maneuver around rather than climb straight up. A little bit of climbing rather than total climbing. Like less sheer cliffs here. Yes, yes, Ganon, you big and scary. I don't need to watch you revive all your minions. Although I do find it funny that, like, immediately at midnight, when the malice hits its, like, greatness, all the red just disappears. Oh, and now it's raining. It's like the Blood Moon wanted to bring my pain and misery. Because more than likely, this is stinking Zora's domain. I'm going to have to do lots of climbing. Oh, and now it's, the rain's just gone. <laughs> it lightly sprinkled and then went away. It's Cass! <laughs> the ultimate boy. I keep I don't even know what those star bit things even are. They fall from the sky. They're usually so far away and I'm in the middle of already doing things. Hello there, Cass. I applaud your courage in coming here. The location that will be revealed to you are trials that will enhance the power sleeping within. Do not let your guard down. I wonder what trials Mifa underwent. At least it's not Sidon. We don't have to go fight a giant Octorok. Oh, they just realized that <laughs> these are like super resolution pictures of the actual land and not like the Oh. Not even like the, what are they called, the, the Sheikah site like map either. This stone monument has survived for 10,000 years. What secrets does it hold? It was under the mm -hmm. ground till like yesterday. Hmm, fellow traveler, what brings you here? I suppose everyone has their own reasons for traveling. Oh. Look, as expected, there's one here too. One of the monuments mentioned in my teacher's unfinished song. Oh. Ah, sweet joy. How glorious to sing the song in the very land it describes. The song my teacher left behind is a verse about the trials that champion Mipha overcame. Allow me to sing it to you. Reaching skyward from waters blue, root as champion, a heart true. The hero's power shall grow. Seek trials, monuments show. One, find what the light's paths show. Two, conquer the ancient foes. Three, chase rings of the waterfall. Champion the trials call. I wonder what the ancient foes refers to. So, did it move you? By steeping myself in legends of the champions and beginning to form a deeper understanding of them, this will prove invaluable in writing the key verses of the song. Uh. I can feel it. My teacher surely sang this very verse from this very spot. I wish nothing more than to carry on my teacher's dream to complete and perform this special song. 
To do so, I must learn all there is to know about the champions of old. Thankfully, the Zora King and Prince shared memories of their champion with me. So I'll definitely oh. want to go talk to them. To sing the completed song under this sky that my teacher so loved. That is the end goal of this long journey. All right, let's see. So that seems more like... Hmm, so it's kind of like a claw-shaped lake next to these jutting cliffs. Which is probably over here. Let's see exactly where it is. Kind of in the middle. So I wonder if this will be like the ancient foes. Alright, basically within Zora's domain. That seems to be like Chase the Waterfall Lights. Probably. More than likely these waterfalls. Yeah, because cliffs. The big fish. Let's see. Meanwhile, up here, there seems to be the one of the, like, constructions. And kind of in the middle of these kind of cliffy places. Which is probably Upland Zorana. Probably Upland Zorana. <coughs> Excuse me. But now we need to make our way down to Zora's domain, talk to Sidon and the uh, and uh, King Dorfin. We'll do like the waterfall, go to like Upland Zorana, and then hit the enemies of old, I guess. Well, let's go talk to him. We'll see. Since there's just... Oh, I never knew that there was a Zora sword back here. Get back here, crab. You're not gonna be disappearing on me. I don't think I'll ever actually cook you. I'll just keep you in my inventory. Hi! I wonder if anybody else has, like, quests here I might have missed. I think you mentioned that your daughter disappeared. I might have to talk to you about that again. Up we go. I wonder how they get all these nice water features. Oh, Mifa's diary. Well, I guess we'll talk to you guys then the diary. Link, I must thank you for journeying all this way, and of course for taming that feisty divine beast Varuta. You somehow overcame the objections of the old geezers on our council, all to help save our home. Yes, you are a treasure of a Hylian, taking time out of your journey to come to our rain and monster-ridden home. And here you activated those orbs of my shark arrows, freed Ruta, and released my sister from her lingering regret. Link, I simply can't thank you enough. Especially for following me to the end, pushy and unreasonable as I am. Oh. Zora's domain would still be in peril if not for you. You are welcome any time, and we are ever at your service. Oh. Have I mentioned how incredible you are and how thankful I am? <laughs> because you are, and I am. Yes, you are the greatest of Hylians and my most treasured friend for all time. Ah, you must forgive me. I am but a rambling fool wasting the time of a cherished friend and hero of the Zora. I do hope you understand that I carry on, so only because I am ever so grateful for all you have done and ever will do. But I digress. Link, might I ask what bling, uh, brings you to our beloved domain? Tell me about the trial. 
The sacred trial my sister challenged? You're a keen one, Link. I've recently noticed certain things that last occurred when my s dear sister Mifa took the ritual to Master Ruta. That is why I sent Muzu and Totika to the stand guard east of Oria Grotto. It was one of these associated areas of the ritual of the trial. Link, yes, I figured it out. You are challenging the sacred trial. I wish you luck, my friend. You are intending to challenge the sacred trial, are you not? I have no doubt you shall succeed. <laughs> I'm cheering you on as ever. After all, you are my most treasured friend and hero of the Zora. That just feels depressing to ask, but let's do it. You wish to speak of my sister? I am always happy to do so. Actually, I recently remembered something. A fuzzy memory from my early childhood. It was a swordsman that came by every so often and spent a considerable amount of time with Mifa. At the time, it felt like he was stealing my sister away from me. I know better now, but that swordsman... <laughs> it was you, Link. I'm certain of it. I do hope my bloodness has not offended you. Had things turned out differently, you might have been my sister's husband. My brother-in-law. <laughs> oh, my apologies. I got carried away and let my imagination run wild. Please forget my childish musings, my friend. That should be it. Should you ever need of, have need of me, do not hesitate to reach oh. out. I shall should be cheering you on as ever. <laughs> Link, I'm truly and eternally grateful to you for saving Zora's domain. Everyone is rejoicing. There is no happier place in the world. But, Link, there is something I wish to ask you. You journeyed within Ruta, the divine beast of water. Now you are back, but Mipha has still yet to return. Mm. Is it as I feared? Were we too late? I met her spirit. Her spirit! So that means Mipha really is... Did... Did she say anything to you? It's been so long I actually mm -hmm. forgot, I'm sorry. I see. My dear Mipha, I simply cannot believe it. There was nothing I could do to save her. Still, Mipha fulfilled her heroic duty as champion, and she will never be alone. It is my duty as her father to watch over her, even now. Mm. Link, she really loved you, you know. There is no mistaking that even now she is overjoyed to be able to hear, help you. Mm -hmm. Promise me that you will always remember her. Promise me that. We did take on Mipha's grace. We are united now. <laughs> Thank you for saying so. I truly appreciate it. Mm -hmm. If you ever run into trouble, know that you are always welcome here. No matter the time, we shall all greet you with open fins. Now then, is there anything I can help you with? Tell me about Mipha. Mm. Yes, of course you wish to hear about our dear Mipha. I'm sure it would bring her peace to know she is on your mind. Mipha was always kind from the day she was born. She was equally as kind to her own as she was to complete strangers. <laughs> When you first took to visiting us back when you were but a child, she adored you like a brother. However, as you know, Hylians age much faster than us. Eventually you grew so much she began to look up to you. As Mipha's diary plainly states, it was not long before she de developed strong feelings for you. <laughs> Azora princess falling in love with a Hylian swordsman. It reminds me of Azora legend of old. That is why I welcomed the idea of you and Mipha becoming husband and wife. I wonder if that's another re reference to, uh, uh... What's her name? Rudo? The Zora princess from Ocarina of Time. It is a shame you two never had the chance to see what might have been. Mipha's Ooh. diary? Ah, of course. Mipha's diary was found just recently. Its discovery brought me much joy. It is on that table over there. I do not mind if you choose to read it. I am sure Mipha would forgive you anything. Well, let's get to reading, I guess. At the request of Hyrule's king, a group of outsiders came to greet us at the Domain. One of them was a Hylian child of only about four years of age. His name was Link. 
He made quite the first impression. He was curious and full of energy with and with a ready smile. Are all Hylian children that way? I wonder how... Like, when this was. I guess technically for the Zora, they age really quickly, so who knows? Oh, no, not, not age really quickly, but like... Time for them is like over a longer period of time. I just had to think of how to word it in my brain. Bleh. One thing that surely sets him apart is his swordsmanship, which I hear is exceptional. He has even bested adults. He must be somewhat reckless, however, as he was covered in bruises. Wishing to be helpful, I healed his wounds for him. It must have been his first time seeing healing magic as he looked up at me with big, round eyes. It was adorable. A divine beast was excavated from Zora's domain. This one is called Valruta. The first time I laid eyes on Ruta, I was surprised by how cute it was. It's so big and round with a long, awkward nose. According to the Sheikah who found Ruta, divine beasts require someone worthy to control them. It's fun to imagine someone piloting this enormous beast in the distant past. I wonder who will have that honor next. Link came to visit the domain. It feels like forever since he was here last. He no longer resembles the child I first met. He is now an accomplished knight and keeper of the sword that seals the darkness. I am so proud. However, he hardly speaks anymore, and smiles even more rarely. He is still the kind soul I knew, but something has changed. I asked him if something had happened, if something was wrong. He merely shook his head. Perhaps it is his new acquired height, but I feel he is ever looking past me, into the distance beyond. The princess of Hyrule paid a special visit to the domain. She asked me if I would agree to pilot a divine beast. She told me she needs my help to face the calamity. My heart knew at once what to do. I agreed without reservation. Calamity Ganon must not be resurrected. If he is, there is no way to ensure the safety of my people, or of anyone. I do not know what will happen. All I know is that if there is anything I can do to help, I must try. I must protect Hyrule. There is also that the divine beasts are meant to assist the chosen hero when he faces Ganon. In this way, I can help Link. Link came to visit me. It had been ages. I told him the line of Ploymus Mountain has been terrorizing everyone lately. When I said that, he started walking toward the mountain without a word. I'm spellbound, I followed him there. When we were almost there, he told me to turn back. He insisted he would be fine on his own. I stubbornly stayed. While I argued, the Lionel attacked us from behind. I was sure we had met our end. How silly of me to doubt. With a sure hand and a fierce gleam in his eye, Link unsheathed the sword that seals the darkness and defeated our foe. His swordmanship was swift and graceful. I was fascinated by the beauty of his movements. I almost had move sets. Too much gaming. Though I should have been terrified, I could not help but feel safe in the presence of my dear friend. His kindness and determination to help those in need. His strength and skill. My heart is drawn to his. I am doomed. For some reason, that's just a funny thing to write. I am doomed. And then we see the, the future where she really was doomed and everything is sad. The last beautiful move Link performed on the mountain is called a spin attack. Perhaps I will attempt it with my spear. Father has finally given his blessing for me to pilot the Divine Beast. The threat of the Calamity can no longer be ignored. Father said the Zora must play their part. He seemed on the brink of tears when he made me promise to return unharmed. My eyes burned with tears as well, so I simply nodded. Segan could hardly look at me. Muzu left part way through. I feel awful for putting them through this, but I must do what I can to help Link. I could never forgive myself otherwise. Speaking of Link, I have at last finished gathering the materials for the armor. I shall start making it at once. Today was the inauguration ceremony at Hyrule Castle. It was an honor to take part, however. Honestly, I do not remember much about anything but only because something unforgivable happened afterward. I experienced something wondrous, a beautiful moment in time I shall treasure forever. I am grateful to the princess for agreeing to my request and to Daruk for, um, well, bringing me closer to Link. 
Oh, I did hear something that shocked me enough to almost overshadow that happy moment. Link has been chosen to guard the princess wherever she goes. They shall be spending much time together. I finally completed the special armor for Link. I am confident it will fit him perfectly. He is coming to the domain soon. I hope to give him my gift when I see him, but oh, should I really go through with it? According to the old legend, long ago a Zor princess fell in love with a Hylian swordsman. Perhaps there is hope. There, this will be a rare occasion that Link is not accompanying the princess. We should have some time to ourselves. Oh, I have an idea. At sunset I shall ride upon Ruta with Link. Zora princesses of the past, please lend me your courage. And then she never did. She never got the chance. Sadness, but let's see. There was like a specific grotto that they went. Ah, Aluria, so yeah. We should be able to go there, hit there, and then see the others. Make sure I go towards yellow. But I do like these like, uh, little added diaries. I really do appreciate them. Yeah, I'm a fool. We'll swoon up one of these and find a better way through. Oh, I thought that was my activation. Instead, I just caught a fish. Let's see. Over this way. Yep, and then we should be able to... Because I presume that that was the one. We might have to look and see, but I'm fairly certain that it was accurate. I forget. Have I talked to you? Link, to think you were the one to appease the divine beast Varuta. Oh, well, your strength hasn't diminished at all in the last 100 yeah. years. So, did you need anything of me? Uh, your name? Oh. oh, that reminds me. The Zoro, whose name ends in Sun, just like mine does, has left the domain. His name is Capson. Oh, I guess uh, you were a, fall a red herring. Like, I was like, oh, I'll run into you. You're in your name ends in Sun for Tarrytown. And then you would lead me to Capson. I believe you said he was heading towards the Akula region. Mm. Just climb the waterfalls at Macau Lake or Lulu Lake. That will offer you pretty decent shortcut to Akla. Mm, but for him to be crossing the mountain at his age, good gracious. I'm glad he's in good health at least. I didn't even realize. Oh, there it is. Well, let's see if we can do this as I suspected. I feel like this one's going to be a lot simpler. Ascend! Because the waterfall climbing is pretty automatic, for the most part. Although the tick down is always going to drill into my skull of fear. But yeah, I think this one was the simplest. Definitely the simplest. I figured it would be considering that the waterfall ascending is very automatic. But I think part of it might be because the animation like plays in like sections of the waterfall or maybe just goes directly to the middle. Could be anything. Well, time to do a trial. Then we'll go to upper, like, uh, Zorana, and then head to where Sidon said those two guys went. Alright, and 
interesting, interesting. Secret stairway. I think I know what to do, but... Like, partially. Hmm. So I think it's like a mixture of using the ice to raise the platforms. And that one is, like, taller, so... Hmm. Oh! Box. Hmm. I'm trying to think of, like, where to use this box. So, oh, that's a chest. Oh, dope. Hmm. I just want to quickly see. Like, is this a solid? It definitely seems so. One second. Just want to make sure that's the wall and not anything interesting. Just the wall. You almost cracked me. Eh? Activate you. Well, not exactly what I had planned. Darn it. Double darn it. Hmm. But a similar idea could play out. Oh. Apparently I hit the top there because just like I'm trying to think of how to do this one. YouTube chat. Yo! Hello, hello. Trying to think of how to properly do this. Hmm. Oh, a uh, potential idea. I could maybe use this to force it up. Yes. And then... Aha! That's one way to do it. Ah, darn it. The physics have betrayed me again. And now... I believe... Hmm. They both can go up a lot. One of the, hmm. Place that there just to see. Hmm. Because there is that, that's a treasure chest. I don't know how they're supposed to do that one. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, idea, maybe. 
that might be unintended, but I want to try. Let's see, is this underneath? It is not. I want to try. Nope, uh, the game will not let me troll logic myself out. <laughs> I didn't uh, uh, do it like this. <laughs> That's the one slight beauty of like the Legend of Zelda, you're able to do things, or like at least Breath of the Wild, multiple like uh, answers for the various shrines. Will you be doing Tears of the Kingdom soon? Maybe. Like, because at the very least, I do want to do. Uh. I do want to do. Age of Calamity before I do Tears of the Kingdom, because I really like Age of Calamity. It was a very fun time. But it's been a long, long time since I played. So... I want to do that. But we'll get to it eventually. Especially because Breath of the Wild has gelled with me so well. Hmm. I'm trying to... Oh! You're magnetic. I didn't realize that. It's more like this. Since they're all climbable. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm close. Ah, idea. To get the full height. have to do it from here, I believe. Let's see. I don't think I have it at a good place. I think it's too high to be able to... Yeah. Too high, so trying to think of what one to do. Let's see. High as possible. <laughs> Climb my ice blocks to get up. All right. Go, I do believe. A very interesting puzzle, I have to say. I like it because it's a combination of two of the uh, abilities. It's Magnesis and Cryonis. Back to back. Ta-da! I really like this. Oh, it's a typical 64 Nintendo Mario! I'll throw you down. 
We'll have to keep that last guardian one for, like, major emergencies of, like, oh no, lightning. I wonder what the highest, like, defense shield is in the game. Baba. But that one was interesting. That was a real brain teaser. I do. I really like that one. Two more remain. I really do like the Champion's Ballad. The Champion's Ballad is a very interesting DLC. I'm glad they made it. Next, we need to go to Upper Zorana, because I believe that's where the next one is, and then head to the Grotto, where the other two should be. So off to the green marker I go. But I really, really do enjoy Breath of the Wild. I do think that it is... A pretty big departure from normal Legend of Zelda. And so, like, uh, I don't have no idea why you just stood there and took it. Weirdo. But, like, it does feel like a pretty big departure from normal Legend of Zelda. Oh, hey, a Moblin Club. I'm not sure if there's any, like, weapon I want to drop to bring this Moblin Club to the Weapon Connoisseur. Like, I guess maybe the giant Great Frost Blade, but that could also be nice to smack certain enemies with because of its freezing properties. We haven't but really need the Cobble Clubber for bits of blah. I'll take that, so we can take it to... the kid. Get out of here. But as I was saying, like, it's a very big departure from normal Legend of Zelda. I need to go back... Well, then again... Technically, there's two different Legend of Zeldas. The 2D and then the 3D. The kind of Link to the Past and then Ocarina of Time. I thought you'd be closer to the, the grotto. Hmm? It is rare to see a Hylian here. Oh, how silly of me. It's none other than Master Link. I'm happy to see you, old friend. I must sincerely thank you for your help with that divine beast Varuta mess. While you are here, I should warn you, blue-eyed guardians have appeared in Upland Zorana. Apparently those things last appeared when Lady Mipha challenged her sacred trial. My father insists they are no cause for alarm, but I am on high alert just in case. Ooh. Link, I never thought you would be the one to appease divine beast. Ever since Lady Mipha was swallowed up by the Divine Beast 100 years ago, I've hated you with all my heart. But it would seem my anger was misplaced. Well, Link, will you please allow my prior rudeness to wash away with the tides? Such is the magic of Zora's domain. <coughs> Perhaps I'm overtly dramatic. Uh, please forgive and forget that as well. Now on to more serious matters. The same creatures that appeared when Lady Mipha challenged her sacred trial have returned to Upland Zorana. Uh. Lady Mipha defeated them with her usual grace and skill. I wonder, is the trial calling to someone new? So, so Baz kind of mentioned multiple. Oh, I wonder if I can, like, get above them, land on them, and destroy them. That'd be kind of neat, like, if they did have a turn-off button at the very top. And I do have Rivali's Gale. 
plus. Oh, Jesus, there's a lot of them. Not you. Great eagle bow, yes. Hmm. This is definitely not the way you're supposed to. What if I use the shock arrow? But I'd also want it to be a bit closer to try and hit it in the eye. And, but I also brought a bunch of the Lizalfos around. And there's also the big guy. The big guy. So long as we're around the big guy, I should probably at least put on marginally stronger armor. Oh, I can take out their propellers. Now you stop that. So that's how these got those like uh So that explains the like more So like uh, that one that's like on the ground, that kind of is explained because it's basically a flying one that got stuck on the ground, which is very interesting. Hmm. You are very annoying. So the plan definitely seems to try and be, like, uh, sneak up on him. At least roughly. Excuse me. Excuse me, assholes! I'm trying to get by! Jerko! Nah, not that. We'll just... Go back to normal arrow and just... Poke at you till you're dead. Hmm. Let's see, I'll go back to you, put electric on. So your neck rises. Smacked. Guess we should be using these. Since there's extra damage against guardians. Didn't expect these guys to be the ancient foes. Kind of interesting. I'm trying to think of, like, what the best arrow would be to try and ground these guys. Okay, let's try and get rid of you. the guard oh that actually hit the guardian i didn't mean that to hit the guardian yep. i didn't know it was hanging so yep. low that my bomb could actually hit it at least i think that's what happened or maybe that's just its designated stopping point of like hmm what is going on oh peace fuck off <laughs> you annoy me so much electro keys. So. <coughs> I 
And now you are down. I wonder if I can just throw bombs at you. Till you are dead. Probably could. That feels kind of like a, a waste of time. Yeah, we shall smack you. Uh, except for the, the keys coming in. Well, that's mean. I accidentally flipped it over. Why are there so many electro keys? I hate the electro keys. They always dive bomb me when they're dead. Kind of eerie how these guys kind of flop around. Maybe now we can blast you a bit to death. Get smacked. I'm probably doing like minuscule damage to you. Maybe it saved me like one hit. From YouTube chat. Hello, hello, hello. We're doing the Zora's Domain Varuta, like a uh, champion ballad trials. On this one, it is destroy all these guardians. Go fly it. Get smacked, idiot. I'll take your arrows. And your guts. Alright, so it does seem like the go-to strategy is to... It's not raining. Just fuck off. It is not raining. Evil game. Okay, we'll wait for it to... Land. I do wonder if I could land on top of it and take out its propellers. Hmm. I am now intrigued by the possibility. The problem is that it moves pretty quickly. And the propellers probably... Oh, I just go through! That's a bit mean. It looks like a platform! Oh, Roto, raiding me. Thank you, thank you for the raid. How was your stream? Right now, I am i was trying to outsmart the game. Utter failure on that front. Oh. You are a very bothersome freak of nature, aren't you? But right now, for the Champion's Ballad DLC, we are trying to bring down the Guardians. Rude. By taking out the propeller, stop shooting me so frequently! Cease! And desist! Of course my aim had to be good on that one. The perfect aim to miss. <laughs> Just impromptu Splatoon 3. I n I've never did play any of the Splatoon games. But they do look very, very fun. Stop moving, you are disabled. I took out your... Essentially, your flying legs. I guess I'll finish you off with Master Sword to keep my guardian powers a bit better. But hopefully, the impromptu Splatoon 3 was good fun, Roto. <laughs> they do be, but only in small doses for me. That makes sense. Like, the Splatoon, like, single player is probably good to have, like, a, as a, like, potentially could be fun as a decent campaign just to go, go, go. But multiplayer games are always usually something that you don't want to do a lot of in a single sitting or else you'll just grow sick of the multiplayer. Because multiplayer can be fun, but if you play too much multiplayer, you realize just how samey it is again and again and again and again. <laughs> I need goals. That is definitely a mood. Like, for me, like, if the multiplayer is fun enough, I can, like, excuse the lack of goals. 
Or, like, my brain will then conflate, like, the free-to-play earning cycle of, like, oh, you can earn cosmetics to be the goal, but it's not as good. From the YouTube chat, oh, I'm playing Splatoon 3 on my Switch console. I'm at least glad that Splatoon got a good chance. Like, even, like, it's actually really, really cool that Splatoon, like came out of the Wii U, a weaker console, but people just enjoyed it so much that they just, like, really gave it a shot. So this is Pachinko. So there's a button down there. Well, I guess let's... Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Ah, uh, darn it. I think this is the second pachinko shrine. But well, funnily enough, my brain is trying to get me to play more free-to-play games. Or, like, multiplayer games in general. Because, like, I do want to play them, give them a shot, experience them. It's just uh, sometimes the anxiety comes to eat your soul. Hmm. See if that works. It'll probably just roll over. Darn. Hmm. Like unless there's another orb I can mess with. Hmm. Ah, or maybe... Hmm. Oh yeah, because I don't need that one anymore. Idiot. Well, let's see. Nope. Hmm. This one is going to be a bit harder to finagle. Unless I'm supposed to go touch that button. I mean, I guess I could from Twitch chat from Roto. Splat single player is quality by itself, to be fair. Worth it alone in my eyes. Honestly, someone who is iffy on multiplayer stuff. That's what I generally hear from the, uh, like, it, the general consensus is that it is a really good time. Hmm, I'm just trying to think of, like, Let me go down and press the button and see what happens. Alright, that's interesting. Wasn't expecting that. to get the get the treasure but I never did get around to playing Splatoon myself mostly because when I had a Wii U my internet was kind of utterly garbage granted I did play it a little bit when there was like a, a free trial weekend thing I think but I never did get around to getting any of the Platoon games myself. From YouTube chat, what's up? We are trying to do this. Odd little like a trial. Never done this one, so I am intrigued. Well great, I think I perfectly blocked it. Although I think that's kind of the purpose. I think I'm supposed to get up there and, like, maybe climb? Like, stop it in its tracks, maybe? Let's see. 
It is perfectly stopped. Balanced as all things should be. Let's see. Because I'm supposed to get it over here to activate, so... Maybe I can just... Break the... Break the everything. Because... If I can get to it, I can stasis it. And through stasis, I can whack it over here. Although, funnily enough, like, the one of the multiplayer games that my brain is just like, hey, we should try and get in to play this one, is League. And I know people are like, no, League is toxic and bad, but I like League well enough. So long as you turn off chat, it should be a decent time. Darn it, I overshot. So basically, I need to not fly. I need to... Climb. Basically, get a bridge, drop down. Try my best. Yeah, otherwise, multiplayer games are just one of those things that, like, hey, that's that would be neat to do. But I just never ever had, like, a friend group to ever really play multiplayer games with, so I never really got overly attached to them. Like the fighting games. Fighting games, super cool, but I have nobody to play with, so if I wanted to play it, I'd have to go up against, like, the very well-trained, like wizened veterans of the game and that doesn't seem like an overly fun time like sure like most like skill based games are ah uh, you have to learn but I don't know I also need to be careful not to knock it off alright now we'll Okay, good. Didn't knock it. Okay, stasis. We need a good smack weapon. Now let's hope this works. <laughs> Cheese the trial. Cheesed it. <laughs> and from YouTube chat, here's a fun fact. During development concept of Splatoon, Nintendo had plans to include Mario in the game originally to associate its new series because uh, they thought it would make uh, attention for it, but Nintendo instead just scrapped the idea. Hmm. And then I guess they decided to make it an original IP overall just so that, like, maybe they felt like this is too... Mario, but at the same time, it would kind of fit to a degree, kind of like uh, Mario Sunshine. Since Mario Sunshine was like, ah, paint has been spread everywhere. Like, uh, wash it off. So like a reverse Dolphino Square. But I'm really, but I think it was a really good idea to make it a new IP. Makes it stand out more. Only one more trial ahead. At least for Varuta. And then I have to go do the Orbosa one. Probably won't do more of the... What's it called? The Like, uh... Redoing the Blights again and again to get different dialogue, I think. Either I'll do that on my own time, or... Might save it for... Uh, because the main thing is, like, it's a bit of a... It's not a time waste, but it is kind of like a a time sink to fight the same boss, and I don't know how many, like, new dialogues there is. But it is neat that there is new dialogue. At the very least, I might do it for, 
Ravali. Since Ravali is the boy and best character, I will not be taking questions. So to get more dialogue from him is good. Well, I destroyed the guardians. When those blue-eyed guardians left, a strange shrine appeared. I knew those guardians were related to the trial. You seem to have defeated the guardians that appeared in Upland Zorana. I do not imagine you would be able to conquer the same trial as Lady Mifa. Ah! I suppose that is why you have earned the title of champion. Please accept my congratulations. I do like that the Zoras have all come around. And have stopped being like, Meh, you got Lady Mifa killed. You Hylian bastard. Although this makes me wonder if, like, the area is called Hyrule and the people called Hylians all in the name of Hylia, like, how spread out or, like, centralized is the religion of the goddess Hylia? Well, I guess it's less a religion and more just a fact of life considering, like, their princess is meant to be, like, blood related to the goddess herself and has like the power of the goddess although the, could double come to think of it does that mean that like every single time that like a horrible thing like like swamps through it it almost seems like every single time Ganon comes to fight all of Hyrule. All of the royal family except Zelda die. So it basically confirms that, like, throughout most of the timeline, every single Zelda has to leave, like, descendants, unless there's, like, a lost branch of the royal family who just come back. It's just like, yes, we are the, uh, <laughs> the backup royal family in case the normal royal family gets obliterated by Ganon, leaving only a single heir. I guess really anything's possible. What the hell is this area? I've never been here before. There's just a bunch of magnet balls. A bunch of at least they look like magnet balls. We are going to ignore them. <laughs> uh, but I forget it was defeat the ancient enemy, fly uh, through the, the rings of light. I forget what the last one is, but there's a campfire, so it has to mean something. From YouTube chat, hey Neon, do you know about the what the, the splat fests are in Splatoon? Yep, they're basically like uh, what's the word? Popularity contests through combat, where basically each like a uh, team is like ch chosen. Like here's a concept: which do you vote for, this or this? And then you decide to join a team, and you win combat for your team, and the team with the highest wins wins. And I think that even was a big thing in the final Splatfest of Splatoon 2, where it was chaos versus order, and it almost seemed like the outcome of that Splatfest dictated Splatoon 3. <laughs> Good, eh? Oh, it's the champion, Master Link. How are things? As for me, I'm here to protect Sir Muzu. I hear at this very location is a trial that Princess Mifa herself challenged. If you want more information, please talk to Sir Muzu. Just to kind of rub it in your face, I shall put on all my Zora gear. Ah, <laughs> oh, it is you, Link. What brings you to this place? We are here at the behest of Prince Sidon, who tasked us with keeping watch on this area. This is the land where Princess Mifa completed her sacred trial. Now the signs that appeared 100 years ago have returned. Princess Mifa's notes had this phrase, while the morning sun is newly born, follow the path of light to the trial. 
I'm not sure where they came from, but she often repeated those mysterious words about the trial. So we have to wait till morning. And then follow the light. Oh, not another guardian. Hopefully I can just dodge it. <laughs> From, YouTube, from a Twitch chat from Roto. Last Splatfest seemed to dictate the next game. The first game Splatfest also affected Splatoon 2's story. Very interesting. Did not know that. Hmm. I guess I'll save because flying guardians and bridges that can die. I wonder what the final Splatfest for Splatoon 3 will be. Because Splatoon 3 has been going on for a while now, hasn't it? Oh yeah, because the last Splatfest of Splatoon 1 was... Kylie versus Marie, wasn't it? Well, I think I see the... Okay, there's a ton of guardians here. But there's also a diddly do down there. I forgot that I could do that, but that. I you wonder, know, can I do anything with this? Probably not. Very interesting. Well, I think I'll want to put on my Zora gear again. <laughs> oh, it's next week. It's past, present, and future. The final Splatoon Splatfest for three is happening. Okay. Didn't know that. That's interesting. I wonder what that would be for, like, dictate Splatoon 4, past, present, or future. Oh, was that it? Was that all I had to do? Interesting. Interesting. I figured I'd have to be running across the boards and bridges, dodging guardians. Instead, it's just come all the way out here. Interesting. That is the simplest one ever. And it rejuvenated all my stamina! I guess they figured some players might get here without, like, having... Oh, oh for a moment I thought the shadow was, like, an actual bridge. That was neat. And here I was expecting it to be a bit more involved, but no, it's just get to the point. I feel like these trials were a bit easy for Mifa. She had to waterfall, climb a waterfall, swim, and then fight guardians. To you who sets foot in this shrine, in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Alright, so the melting point. I wonder if I can just climb them. I cannot. What about my flame sword? Okay, just having it out melts. That's good. From YouTube chat? Yes, Neon and I'm gonna participate in the Grand Splatfest in Splatoon 3. What team are you gonna uh, be on then? Past, present, or future? I'm not sure which one I would be. Like, it, it really depends on, like, how they present it in Split... Like, uh, the... Splatoon, like, diddly D, Like, which are you gonna do? Past, present, or future? Like, will the past... Is the past more fantastical? Or like, what? Because I might just go... Future. Alright, so... Presumably... They want me to... Pseudo-melt... Definitely 
not you. Let's go down to Falcon Bow. Get up there. a second one to like probably get up on top of the first one. <laughs> From Twitch chat. It's all subjective ultimately, as are all Splatfests really. That's true. They're basically our popularity contests plus skill. And from YouTube chat, well I have two options. I want to decide present or future. Hmm. Yeah, because for me it all depends on like <laughs> what the past is, like, sold on, basically. If it's sold to be cool or what. Very interesting, all this. I basically want to try and make a semi-icy staircase. Wish that I could, like, more climb them. Interesting that this actually affects the area around me. Come on, Link. Pull yourself up. Oh, now it's being all physics-y. That's not good. Hmm, because it does seem to just be ice. But very interesting. Hmm. So more than likely, the game wants me to move you. I wonder. It does seem like you're an auto-reset. So, I can do this. The other option is to, like, melt you a lot. Oh, that's not good. You are gonna melt a lot. Get away! Get away! But you do need to be fro like uh, melted enough that you go through, and then by then you kind of become movable. I think. From Twitch chat Roto. In this case, uh, two all three being uh, repped by one of the. Uh, idol groups from each game. That's really cool. So that'll also influence people's decisions, naturally. That is actually an interesting, like, side effect of, like, uh, having the, like, characters rep the different options. Because then it might come down to less, oh, I choose this one because that's what I, like, like. And more, I choose this one because my preferred character is repping this one. Which is very interesting. And now, especially because it's the three idol groups from each game... Oh, I guess you're still a tad too big. Hmm. I mean... There we go. Now we should be able to more accurately... I think you were just slightly too big. But I think that, like, out of, like, all of the Splatoon Splatfests, this might be the most, like, determined by the fans compared to others. Because people really be like, no, mine is superior. Da. 
That's actually really interesting. And also really cool because it's like the third game, so... Bringing back all of the people's favorite characters. There we go. A very interesting one. I don't think we have anything to do with ice across the entire game until that moment, except for, like, getting to one shrine. That's very interesting. From YouTube chat. So now, do you also know about the are you a kid or a squid meme? Isn't that from, like, an original... Like, specifically an American Splatoon ad. It's like, you're a kid, you're a squid, you're a kid, you're a squid. Which just, just dominated early. Splatoon. Now that is the final shrine for Varuta. Now we're gonna head back and take on Water Blight Ganu. And get to listen to Mifa again, which is very nice. And Water Blight was the first one I fought, so this will be interesting. Thank God I decided to teleport. Well, Varuta. I shall save, just in case. Let us take on Water Blight once more. One who approaches this divine beast in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. In exchange for Ruta's emblems, you will be granted the chance to tread through the realm of memories. Those who lack determination will find this trial unforgiving. Oh yeah, because I'm probably only going to have like a spear, aren't I? A trident. Do not take this place lightly, nor dismiss it as merely a world within your mind. The truth is much deeper than you know. I don't even think Water Blight ever hit me. So th Then again, I think that was the same for Wind Blight, and it kind of rocked my shit when I went to fight it. Oh, I'm wearing my Zora outfit here. So I do have a bow. This illusionary realm was created from the depths of your memories. The enemy you shall face is a product of the fear that dwells within. You must overcome this fear to proceed. This battle is a trial of the soul. You must emerge victorious using only the tools provided. I wonder if all that means like this is memory from the champions fighting the Blights. Because technically like they gave me their power. But I do wonder. Although I did have a thought, I think it might have been a bit more disturbing if the Blights were literally piloting, like, the bodies of the champions. I think that would be a lot cooler and creepier. Oh. Oh. That's a thing you can do. I didn't even know. There's an entire area of effect, too. I wonder, does it affect you? Oh, it actually does. 
just kind of displaces him. Darn. So I think maybe my... How many of these do I have? So I have Ceremonial Tridents and the other ones, so... So I think my best bet is to, in this stage... Oh, that's a thing? Hitting it multiple times electrifies you? I didn't even know. I missed this completely. I was in a poor area to try and attack. And now you'll start... flooding this place. Come on. Oh, I hate you game sometimes. <laughs> I went to climb and game said no. I should probably save my... Hmm. Very odd. No idea what that even is doing. Maybe I have to knock it into you? Oh, you're just angry at me being around you. So I probably wasted a bunch of my... arrows. Maybe I need to smack it back? Hmm. I'm very confused of this part of the everything. Yeah, game. Come on, <laughs> go in the right direction, please. Yeah, I am kind of annoyed by this. I don't know how to properly fight you. I just spammed arrows at you at this point. Oh, I. You're kind of in reach of the water blocks. Okay, gotcha. A little weird that like the ice blocks don't just fly toward you. I thought they would more. Like even if I shot them, but they don't. Oh, and I guess I just remembered now the Orbosa's Fury is what activated that, the lightning. You're an annoying boss, aren't you? Come on, I was spinning attack. That shouldn't have done anything to me. I don't like this one. Yeah. This was very annoying. Because they're just sending ice blocks far too quickly, in my opinion. And that they destroy my own ice blocks? Kind of bullshit, game. Fuck up. <laughs> That's the main thing I just like. Because there's just like no time to get onto the platform. It just spams attacks. Come oh, come on, you were out. Screw off. We're very annoying. Oh come on, I definitely hit that game. 
Yeah, this is just an annoying enemy without bow and arrow stuff. And it's a still destroyed by ice block game. You are very annoying. I hate this. This is dumb. This is very dumb. Can I just up? Uh, nope. That's dumb. That's just very dumb that it just happened so quickly. Have a pause period so I can actually do things. You fuck. Because it just felt like uh, the reach from the ice block to hit him wasn't enough. Just ever so slightly felt like it wasn't enough. So I wasn't, unsure, wasn't exactly sure what to do. And then it just kept sending fucking ice blocks. Which I still think that they happen way too quickly without giving you any fucking arrows to use. Just very annoying. And just like everything it does destroys my goddamn ice blocks. Far too many. And you just start with a fucking attack like that, you asshole? Oh, fuck you. You're, you're an asshole. Get on with it. Raise the water levels. But I could skip this. I wonder what dictates what can be and what can't be. Like, pause. Or, like, not pause, but, like, skip. Come to think of it. D Damn, just let me climb the fucking blocks. I still think that those ice blocks should, like, Zoom back at him more. I hate that it destroys my ice block. Stop! That pisses me off. God. The fact that it destroys my ice block is just bullshit. Fuck you. Like, I swear. Game, I was playing. I'm like, fuck you. You're a cunt. Stop. <laughs> like, I swear those ice blocks need to actually go back and hit you. God, you're... So annoying! You fuck off! I hate you! You're dumb! You're stupid! Fuck you! Let me get to land! And that still hits me. God! Fuck you! God! What is with this stupid boss? Okay. I hate this. This is stupid. I genuinely don't know if I'll be able to do this because this guy's a cunt. How am I supposed to fucking do this? I was spamming this to fuck you! Like, by the time I get up there to deal damage, this shit is all at me. And it destroys my ice blocks. What am I supposed to do? Genuinely. There's just nothing you can do. Just nothing. Like, maybe get under him a bit? But...
god, you're just so bullshit. I, why can't the spin attack count as a, ooh, destroy the block thing? That's what I want to know. But this is a bullshit boss, honestly. There is no real pattern to allow you to attack this cunt. Fuck off. By the time you present yourself back into a position to deal damage, he is already back on his bullshit, and I fucking hate it. Come on, let me skip this. I just want to get back to the fight. It's annoying. Use the cryo rune. There's a delay! I can put up a single one. It destroys a single block. Unless I can actually use it on the blocks, which is just not a thing the game has taught the player at all. We'll try that this time. But just like, that's not something the game has taught me at all. Because no other enemy uses Cryonis blocks as weapons, so like, why am I supposed to assume like, oh, this ice is something that I can actually manipulate with the Cryonis room. I'll just take the damage, does one heart of health. The stab actually did a bit more. Actually, I should probably be using the ceremonial trident. I'm supposed to probably be like, uh... The one problem with the Daruk's shield is that it makes it harder to, like, try out the... Oh, do a backflip because... Like, the particle effects as well as just getting in the way. But let's see. I still think it would be kind of stupid to not have, like, other, like, Cryonis enemies. Because it's just like, it's not something I think to do. So let's take this as a thing. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that's intuitive personally. Cause like no other enemy does it. Oh, you got up quickly. I still think it's a little shenanigans, mostly because. Again, no other enemy uses Cryonis runes as weapons. So there's just like no real preparation to really... Let's see. Darn it. Did it out of order. I can't do it in the water. I think I can protect myself a bit. Nope, I climbed up. Darn. It's still a... I wish I could, like, target them from the water. At least I can kind of wander around with them. They still destroy my own Cryonis block, so it's a little annoying to actually get in and do damage. Not too sure what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I gotta abuse my my stuff, and that's still not enough. Darn it! I wish I could. I wonder if I can hit him from the platforms. So let me set up like defensive Cryonis. Oh, that's not good. Oh, you stab. Didn't expect you to stab. No idea why that one destroyed, but sure. Yeah, I think if, like, that's gonna be, like, a, a big thing for the boss. <laughs> like, I just completely skipped that because I had, like, a good bow at that point, I think. So I just kind of spammed arrows at him. Because, like, no other enemy uses Cryonis on you as an actual an attack. 
Like, not even Master Koga. He just used Magnesis, I believe. So it's just like, eh. It wasn't intuitive to me, on a second go-through, to be like, Oh, I can counter Ice with Ice when no other Ice is affected by Cryonis. And no, like, I don't even think the, like, ice thrown at you by Ice Lazolfos could be hit mm. by the Cryonis rune. Like, I gotta know, it's just like, it's one a little weird thing in my head. Because like, I'm not even sure how you would make it, like, a bit more obvious. I don't know, it just feels weird to me. I forget if I even figured that out on my first fight against it on this playthrough. I think I mostly just used, like, electric, like, arrows, because I got a lot. Well, well. Though our aims are different, our feet took us to the same destination. I will fi speak figuratively, of course. I travel by wing rather th than by foot. Ah, wandering about here and listening to anecdotes about Champion Mipha has truly invigorated me. Mm. In fact, it has inspired me to honor her in my own way, separate from my teacher's unfinished song. That is why I felt inclined to roost here near the be divine beast Varuta, which Mipha herself mastered. Mm. I've written a song to try and capture the essence of Champion Mipha. Recall the champion of Ruta's wrath. Before she walked her chosen path, Mipha's kindness was known to all, which is why the princess came to call. How? Yeah, because this is like long after Link first came here. So, Princess, oh. may I ask who the other chosen champions are? She's at that waterfall where you have Gaul to jump down Daruk. Rito confidence. and Revive. stab a platform with the Gerudo spear. Spirit, Obosa. Oh, she was the last one and to be called. The Hylian with the sword that seals the darkness. <laughs> she said that one quickly. Link. It's like she knew. Oh. Funnily enough, that probably makes her want to fight even more. And little Sidon. Sidon, hurry and swim up here. Mifa, perhaps he is still too young to swim up this big waterfall. I wonder how day, princess. old young Sidon is there. To face my fate with Ruta. Well, that's ominous. It's almost like you know bad things are gonna happen. <laughs> I uh, didn't stab the platform. Join me. We'll go together so you can get a feel for it. Aww. Little chubby faced Sidon. It's almost like waterboarding him. But luckily he's a Zora, so it should be fine. Why is his head like tail already as like bigger than hers? I'm counting on you to protect our beloved home from harm. Understood? I believe in you. Now, shall we try one more time? He's always had that <laughs> smile. <laughs> I kind of like that that also included Sidon in that one. Showing just how much she cared about her brother. Hmm. Hmm, though she was known for her kindness, it seems the Zora Princess could be quite strict when necessary. So, what do you think of Champion Mipha's song? 
By writing a song that captures the determination of champion Mifa, I feel closer than ever to my dear master. Oh. The end result is not quite clear yet, but I'm beginning to feel a stirring of inspiration about those verses. You're so strong. So much stronger than before. The power of Mipha's grace will now recharge much faster. I can now die faster. As powerful as you are, I am certain you can save Hyrule. As well as the princess who awaits you. Mipha's Grace Plus! Because I'm just trying to think, like, across the various, like, blights. Fire Blight is pretty simple. The only real trick up its sleeve it has is the everything gets sucked in and you all you throw a bomb to get past the shield. Like, I do remember that uh, Thunder Blight took me a bit to really get around. Because I just, like... To what extent do I use the Electro Rods? <laughs> I wonder what armor I'll be forced to wear for the Gerudo one. Because that's Flame Guard. And then together they give Heat Resistant. Whereas this is Fireproof. I wonder if wearing this in the desert would keep me alive, at least during the day. And now the last one. All the way down here. Guess we'll go to the Wasteland Tower, go around Naboris. <laughs> Too bad that all Link's champion friends are dead. Indeed. There's the, that's why there's so many fanfics of like, and after Link destroyed the Calamity Ganon, all the champions came back to life. Or they just skip part of it and just go, actually all of them were put into stasis of the resurrection pods. There were more of them. No idea how the resurrection pods could all fit like uh What's his name? Daruk. He is very big. But don't question it. It's fan fiction. They all secretly survived. <laughs> They're all hiding. I wonder how close... We'd have to get to Naboris for it to go, Nah, you're too close. Like, it's not like I could even climb it. It's made out of Sheikah material. And Sheikah material cannot be climbed. But I guess it's just to stop people from potentially getting on, even though I personally think they could have created doors. <laughs> The ancient Sheikah could create doors. <laughs> Climb away. Age of Calamity gives more time to the champions as characters, at least. That's also true. Like, even this kind of gives us more time with them. Allow us to get to know them a bit more. The same thing with, like, the diaries. Get to read more about them. See bits, just like slight bits of their past. You know, I just realized something. Like, after uh, Twilight Princess, they created, like, Link's crossbow training. If only they waited to, like... After Breath of the Wild, they could have done Rivali's, like, like Rivali's, uh, what is it called? Bow and arrow range. Oh, he's a guardian. You're probably, like, I don't even know if you're alive or dead. You have legs. 
can only assume that you're alive. I probably should have used Rivali's Gale. One of these things is gonna be alive. Like, you're probably a rusted out, but still movable one, aren't you? All the guardians scare me. I don't, I don't even think I need that mi I really should probably go see Robbie and see about, like, getting some stuff from him. You're probably going to be a target one, aren't you? You're going to whoosh de whoosh around. There's going to probably be three covering all angles of this. Well, then again, Cass is here, and they'd put no enemies around Cass, surely. Let me harvest from you to make sure you're dead. Good, you're dead. Guardians do scare me. Might as well grab a rush room. That will ever... <laughs> I highly doubt we'll ever gather all the, like, what, 60 rush rooms? 40 rush rooms? Something like that. To give to the one guy that's like, I can't even function anymore without rush rooms. He just gives me one diamond for, like, so many. Da -da, da -da 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 -da. I love Cass's little song. I applaud your courage in coming here. Locations that will be revealed to you are of trials that will enhance the power sleeping within. Do not let your guard down. At least Thunder Blight will, should be simpler. Should be, if I remember fighting it. Then again, we'll be having specific, like, equipment. So that could hamper us. But at least its second phase will just be like, hold the lightning rod up to its face so it can explode itself. Which will be fun. Oh, that light. Is it a reaction to someone nearby? Is it me, or is it... Hmm? How strange to see someone else at this ample altitude. I wonder what brought him here. Oh, how embarrassing. I'm afraid traveling on my own encourages me to talk to myself on occasion. Look, I'm sure you already know, but it's one of the monuments mentioned in my teacher's unfinished song. Ah, oh, such a rush of happiness I feel at being able to sing while the Divine Beast watches over us. The song my teacher left behind, there's a verse about the trials of Champion Orbos overcame. Allow me to sing it to you. Every single time it transitions into that, I have to go, gotta read fast. Like the king of the desert, now Boris' champion, the stalwart. The hero's power shall grow. Seek trials, monuments show. On, fight the brute of the sand Two, chase rings upon the land Three, throw the orb underground Champions' trials abound So, did it move you? By understanding the true natures of the champions, I'm closer than ever to completing those key verses. Uh. Hmm, it's as though the champions are speaking to me through the song. I hear their silent plea for its completion. That's why I must learn more about the champions of Hyrule's past. Luckily, the Gerudo Chief Riju and her guard, Belu Beluria, shared some precious tales of their champion with me. I'm grateful I was able to visit Gerudo Town, even though I had to... Well, leave my comfort zone a bit. Impressive that you found some clothing that would fit you. So we'll definitely want to go in and get some... Tints and hips. Let's see. Trying to think of where that might be. Because it does lead to a bit of green... Kind of two parts, and specifically a path in that kind of goes up. I'm 
trying to think where that could be. I doubt it would be up there. Because it leads to the cold. Hmm. Let me look at the other ones. Well, that obviously tells me where that is. Kind of over here. Towards Champion's Gate, presumably. This one is probably a little ways out from Gerudo Town, which is probably Fight Meldugia, I would presume. Like, somewhere around here, one of these corners. Let's see. Because there are, like, uh... So, no, because there is the shrine, so it is over there. That general direction. All that's left is this one that's a bit harder. There is a shrine, it looks like. Maybe. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Because there's also, like... A little path that way that leads in between these two cliffs that goes down to kind of a da da da. Hmm. Could it be over here? I don't think so, no. Well, then again, I never went this way, but I don't think it says like that. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Because yeah, there's like a triangle, so I don't think that that would be shown. Hmm. Hmm, no, because that's a bridge. Trying to think where it could be. Yeah, because that one's obvious. That one's obvious. What about this one? Because uh, cause it could just be the lighting of the picture. Like, maybe that could, because it, but there is sand. And none of this looks familiar. Because I think the camera, or like the pictures, could be orientated differently. But I don't think they'd be that different. Let's see, any others? Because there is a bit of water and green. A bit of water and green. Aha! I assume maybe up here? Maybe? It's hard to tell. No, because then that would be seen. Hmm. A bit of water and green. And then I doubt... No, because there's no water there. That's just the glow of you. Hmm. Very interesting. Because there is a little bit of water seen here that could be a river or a little lake and green at cliffs that are slightly... that have a little path. Wait a minute. No way. Could that be... Green, a little bit of water, so it could be this. Up here in the snowfield. Oh, maybe it's, uh... Further past, uh... Where we fought... The boy. So let's see specifically where it is. It is... 
down to the left. So, kind of, sort of, over there. Huh. Didn't think that would be a place. Huh. Well, I guess we'll keep that in mind. Hmm. I guess since we can teleport to the Divine Beast and fly down, we shall put on our disguise. Now we sadly cannot rock into combat. And we shall go to Gerudo Town. From YouTube chat, I made it. I accidentally got engaged yesterday. No idea how you do that. Accidentally getting engaged feels like the beginning of an Adam Sadler rom-com. Or like a medieval, oh, but thou must. It's kind of interesting to think that, like, those mountains of ice and freezing technically are a part of the Gerudo area. How much wood do I have? I don't think I have much wood. We have one wood. <laughs> From Twitch chat, I accidentally got engaged. Sounds like a slice of life manga. Definitely it does. Oh, there's two Gor Gorons in here. You, Sabasava. Oh wait, I think there's supposed to be a beast down there. Is it Saba Saba? Saba Saba. Uh, this language is hard. Ooh. I made it all the way to Gerudo Town, but I'm not sure why they let me in. Because they know Gorons just be Gorons. Saba Saba. Saba Saba. Ooh. Oh, brave Hylian Vi, will you consider joining our forces? I'd love to. <laughs> <laughs> That's reassuring to hear. However, I already spoke with the chief about you. You're on a very important mission, aren't you? Once you finish that task, we'd gladly accept you alongside us. By the way, I hear a strange type of Meldugo was spotted near East Barrens recently. A Hylian named Tracy went there looking for, how did she put it, a hot scoop? Mm. I hope she didn't bite off more than she can chew. Oh, you're actually here in the middle of the night. Tell me the secrets. Huh? A lot happened, but we are truly indebted to you. The champion's arms are treasures of the Gerudo, much like the Thunderhelm. If anything happens to them, you must let me know immediately. <laughs> the treasured orb? <gasps> what? How do you know about that? My apologies. There's no point in losing my temper with you. The treasure of my people. The sacred orb that we have guarded for generations is gone. Another precious item stolen by the Yiga clan, which is probably where the... Because it's kind of up into the mountains along the... Oh, don't tell me that I'm going to have to sneak through the Yiga hideout. Hopefully I can just go over. The Yiga hideout has just destroyed me inside sometimes. Those fiends, I thought they had been wiped out, though I heard rumors of them regrouping at their base. Only Lady Riju and myself know the orb has been stolen. Do not speak of this to anyone. Enough about that. If anything happens... Hmm. Where's the chief? The chief is sitting right there. Are you so in awe that you cannot even see her? That is funny. Oh, now I want to talk to Lady Riju. When I wore the Thunder Helm and fought at your side, I thought I heard the, a name called out on the wind. Riju. Oh. <laughs> I hadn't been called by that name in a while. That strong, warm voice, it must have belonged to Urbosa. Tell me about Urbosa. Huh? You wish to speak of Lady Urbosa? Hmm, what an interesting request. After Naboris was tamed, we located Lady Urbosa's diary. Since you're here, I shall tell you something from it. Lady Urbosa had a beloved friend whom she thought the world of, the Queen of Hyrule. No wonder so many people ship Urbosa with the Queen of Hyrule. It's canon! <laughs> to a degree. <laughs> Such a big heart. Our Lady Urbosa was admirable in every aspect of her life. Urbosa's diary... Lady Urbosa's diary is in my room. Since she trusted you, I'm certain she wouldn't mind you reading it. Mm. Oh, but just interesting. Uh. Hmm. 
<laughs> the treasured orb? Mm -hmm. Are you referring to the treasure of the Gerudo? The sacred orb kept safe by my people for generations? Link answered truly. Are you challenging the same trial that Lady Urbosa overcame all those years ago? In that case, I shall not keep this a secret from you. Our treasured orb was stolen. Yet another massive failure, as though the incident with the Thunderhelm wasn't humiliating enough. To top it all off, the ones who stole the treasure were none other than the Yiga, our sworn enemies. Luckily, the first to notice its absence was Bolaria. As of now, she and I are the only members of our tribe who know now. Mm. Link, would you be willing to help us recover a sacred treasure from those fiends once more? In return, you may use the treasured orb however you please to complete the trial. Mm. Perhaps it is fate, as that orb was made to be used for the very trial you were challenging. I wish you luck in finding it. I'm sorry to burden you with my troubles again, but I'm counting on you. Very interesting. So more than likely that does mean that we're going to have to sneak through. I still like these little sand seals. Well, let me see. Yeah, fight the brute of sand, Melduga. Chain, chase the rings in the land, it, which is probably the one near the, like, uh, maze. And then throw the orb underground. Which is probably, go send Koga a friend. Oh, wait, no, this is her diary. My bad. <laughs> Their double diary. My dear friend from afar came to visit Gerudo Town today. It's always a pleasure to see the Queen of Hyrule. She described her reason for coming as urgent. She wished for me to meet her newborn child. Her sweet daughter's name is Zelda. She has her mother's smile. I cannot help but cherish her already. I told her that Zelda is sure to grow up into a dignified and beautiful queen just like her mother. My friend thanked me, but said that she look that looks are fleeting, and instead she wishes for Zelda to be blessed with true happiness. <laughs> the way she gazes upon her daughter, her little bird as she calls her, I never seen such unconditional love. It has been a long while since we laid my dear friend to the queen to rest. Immediately dead! I only now have the will to write again. It was so sudden, I still can't believe she's gone. All of my sweet memories of her keep running through my mind. Even now I can hardly keep the tears at bay. Young Zelda kept her head held high as she said her final goodbye to her mother at the funeral. She carried herself as a true princess, but I can sense the deep grief she is hiding within. I worry for her. I made a voyage to visit Hyrule. After speaking with the king, I saw Zelda for the first time in a year. In truth, it was my concern for her that brought me there. The king allowed me to keep her company as she went to the spring for her training. There, Zelda prayed and prayed in the spring's icy waters until the sun set. I told her many times to stop, but she wouldn't listen. I eventually had to drag her out of the water. Zelda gazed at me for the longest time with heartbreaking vulnerability. Eventually, in a tiny voice, she told me of the pressure and panic she feels at not being able to fulfill her sacred duty. She whispered over and over, Why can I not do as the royal daughters of the past have done? What is wrong with me? All I could do was hold her close and listen. I pray that it is enough. Jeez. This is depressing. <laughs> Emissaries from Hyrule came to see me today. They informed me of that they have been chosen that I've been chosen to pilot the Divine Beast. My people are uneasy about it. They tell me such a dangerous task is not fitting for the chief. I understand their fear. However, I intend to accept this task. Calamity Ganon's resurrection does not only threaten Hyrule, but the whole world. I refuse to sit idly by. Ganon is also closely associated with the Gerudo, an association I deeply resent. I believe Zelda will be here soon to receive my official answer. I am excited to see her, as always. I attended the inauguration ceremony alongside the other champions whom I share a fate with. Zelda, Ravali, Mifa, and Link are so young. They are Hyrule's future. Daruk and I hope to help them see that future. However, one thing did trouble me. Zelda was uncharacteristically cold toward Link. I can imagine why. I hear Link has been assigned as Zelda's guardian knight. I hope they find a way to get along. Link requested to meet with me today. He tells me Zelda exploited our law that restricts men from entering town to slip away from him. I told him of a trick that would allow him to entrance, and he was able to get in, but then, however, Zelda was long gone. 
I promised to let him know if I saw her, so he reluctantly returned home. <laughs> so this isn't even the first time that Link got in. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, I wonder if it's just like a funny aha secret. Like, it's technically not even a real law law of la that men aren't allowed into Gerudo Town. It's just like, so long as you, like, accept femininity and come in as a woman... They'll, they just will, won't question a thing. Which is an interesting idea. It's also double hilarious that Urbosa herself was just like, you know, there's a loophole. Go ahead and do it. In a similar yet distinct way, Link seems to have trouble expressing himself. Perhaps the two can help each other. That is, if she ever gives him the chance. Today I accompanied Zelda as she went to research Naboris. When the sun set, the poor exhausted girl drifted off to sleep. I sent word to Link, who showed up at Naboris faster than I expected. Although it is none of my business, I felt the least I could do is bridge their gap was to share some things about Zelda. The rest is up to them. I'm so happy to say that Zelda smiles much more often lately. It seems she and Link have finally learned to get along. I wonder if the next like few pages might be, And now the king fucked it up! It ruined everything. I hope this will have a positive effect on her training. However, I am concerned we may be running out of time. Whenever I hear the monsters' attacks of or other unusual events plaguing the kingdom, my concern grows. All I can do is pray that Zelda, my little bird, has enough time. I do not pray to the goddesses, but to her mother, my dearest friend. How I miss her. Very interesting. I think that's like the first real grace is ready. the first real time that like Zelda's mother has been mentioned, I think. Or at least at length. Just very interesting. We shall not go into the sand seal pits. We shall respect their area. Let's seal the deal. Uh. And now we'll use this, hopefully, to... Get over to the green. Let's see. And, yeah, we'll use the night seal. I do find it very enjoyable that, like... They came up with a very unique way of getting across the desert. And they also, like, combined it with the shield surfing. Oh, it's because it's cold out. I forgot. I was like, why am I taking damage? I assume there's probably enemies. Oh, <laughs> for a moment, it's like, what's that sound? And it's probably just my shield scraping across the sand. Oh, more sand seals. I like that they're just kind of out and about. Alright, a whole colony of monsters. What fun. I would assume that, like, since it's, like, travel across the rings of light on land, it would be, like, around here. I guess not. Hmm. I don't see anything. I guess I'll just use you to get to the yellow and see if we can fight Melduga instead. Let's see. We'll probably finish using up my Great Eagle Bow against the... Melduga. Hopefully the Melduga will also drop Melduga Guts so I can 
give them to that one Gerudo whose husband is deathly ill. I can only imagine trying to cross the desert without a sand seal. It feels like a nightmare. And also hopefully... Using sand seal doesn't destroy my shield too much. That would be mean. I wonder what this is. Oh, sand seal side quest. Hey. Well, let's go and try and find Tracy. Urbosa's fury is ready. Oh, oh, over here is the... Huh, I thought it'd be a compl I thought this would be where Melduga was. Huh. Alkadok! Sand seal time! Oh, don't tell me I'm going into the desert storm. Oh, this might suck. Interesting. At least I have the light of these to guide my way, and I guess the, the statues. Very interesting. Kind of mean. Interesting. I wasn't expecting it to drive me into the giant sandstorm or for it to warp my minimap. Luckily, my sand seal is right there. There is a treasure chest. First, check what's in the treasure chest. Gold rupees. Very nice. Although, come to think of it, wasn't this kind of sort of a thing? Like, you're making my... Will you bugger off? You freak of nature? You're scaring off my sand seal. I don't know if hitting your horn would electrically shock me. Let's see. Yeah, I should probably use up my Master Sword so that it can, like, go into charging. Like that. You don't even have a weapon. Get out of here. Okay, good. My sand seal just went a little bit further in. We'll go ahead and do this. And then try to escape. Escape the sands. Alright, back to electricity. Yeah, but first I have to actually get across about being electrocuted. I also like that it has to, like, be a bit before it actually activates. Through, so I don't get electrocuted. Hmm. I presume I just need to... I wonder if I can double up. 
move them for the price of one. Yeah, but then getting there is an issue. There we go. Very interesting. Okay, so this one I need to get, like, the climbing blocks, presumably. Ooh. But uh, can I go behind? Hmm. Interesting. lead to a treasure chest, presumably. And then I need to find a way to get, like, the climbables. Oh, that's a good fucking bow. Alright, Great Eagle, you are basically destroyed right now anyway. Let's... <laughs> Knew it. All right, so now the challenge is I need to climb up. And then I could probably... First things first, climb up, then do it from the top. Since there's a little platform here for me to do all my minute shiftings. All right, so obviously you need to be down there. Then I can, like, kind of shift it. Hmm. Or actually... There we go. Oh, but then I have to get up there. Oh, actually, since you're the one right here and climbable, I can just do this. <laughs> so much faster than the, like, some of the Varuta ones. Resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. You did it, boy. Have an emblem. Only two more remain, so I guess Melduga is probably down near the maze. And then, of course, the orb is through the <laughs> the Yiga hideout. And they're probably gonna be harder to get by. Nope, I can't just get on any old sand seal. Uh, apparently, it's very hot out now. Oh, that's weird. That that doesn't provide full heat resistance. Well, that's kind of mean. I don't think I have an elixir for heat resistance further. I do have fire, but not heat. Which means I have to get out of here faster. And my sand seal is gone. Oh my 
guess since I'm going to be burning to death anyway, I can put on my sand pants. I probably should have made some like hydra melon things. Giant bones made me kind of scared for a moment. <laughs> Just a traveler's claymore. But I don't really care to, because I don't think this is one of those super sneaky sneaky. I just need to head in the right direction. <laughs> That's probably for like a find a thing within the the sands, which I don't really care for. I just need to get to civilization because I'll die. I can, at least I can see like some of the stuff through. <laughs> Very interesting that the sandstorm is capable of, like, annihilating, like, the minimap. Does the map even function? No, the map is dead. Very impressive. Does the shade protect me from the heat? Oh, it actually does. It's actually kind of neat. I almost wasn't expecting the shade to actually work. I wonder who built all these statues. Well, they I was wondering why you were fake. I was just like, why is there a chest here? Of course I come across one of you freaks. Yeah, here. Be gone, freak. And now I can put on my full outfit to get heat resistance and not die. And... All right, delete that. Guess we'll come up here to seek out Malduga because it's around here, I think. Like around here, here. Go ahead and teleport. Because the prerequisite, or like, uh, more like the requisite, you need a sand seal one is out of the way, the rings of light on the ground. Let me guess, uh, after I do everything, Cass is going to stand on the rock. Fly down. Out of fear of the Naboris, you are too close. Be gone, Hylian. Derogatory. Activates. I just hope that I don't need need a sand seal to fight this Melduga, which I probably do. Oh, I am a foo. And there's a guardian. Son of a bitch. Guardians still wandering around this place? I forget, did I mark that already? I did not. There's a lot out there. That if I just wanted to boost my stats, I could. Because 
because this leads to Champion's Gate, the big old maze. Because we came up here with a sand seal and didn't find him, so I can only presume that, like, Tracy is up here. I probably should have looked at it a bit closer, because I only generally put it roughly around where I thought it was, because that usually works. Slowly I gotta climb. Come to think of it, I wonder why it was hotter in the sandstorm than it was outside of the sandstorm. I guess, like, the hot winds were blowing that hard that they were making my heat resistance not super resistant, but still. Kind of insane that it's... Or maybe they just, like, uh... Wanted to be like, ah, oh, you're in a sandstorm, so it's damaging you. But they didn't want to just program in another unique damage source. So they were like, eh, we'll just say that it's hotter in there. And make it so that your, like, uh, heat-resistant outfits aren't strong enough to resist level 2 or 3 heat. Ah, good, good. Master Sword has been restored. Because the main thing is just, like, where Tracy is. Hmm. Because it was supposed to be, like... I was probably further out, come to think of it. Hmm. So I probably do need a sand seal. Well, they did say that Tracy came out here, so maybe that's like a safety thing, so that if you come out here without a sand seal, Tracy has one that you can borrow to fight the Malduga. I presume. But I was kind of wandering around and didn't find it. Malduga. Maybe she is on like. I'm just trying to think of where she could be. Might have to go back and re ascertain the specific location. Outfit again, rent another sand seal, and really look around. Because it clearly showed that, and it was like in this area, because, or like maybe it was more up here. Hmm. I don't think so. Hmm. Oh, Tracy, oh, Tracy, where are you? Because I could always, like, go back in and talk to the one guard lady who specifically mentioned <laughs> Tracy. I'm just trying to think where the hell it is. Because I figured, like, saving the Yiga clan out, like, uh, <laughs> let's do the Yiga clan again, sneaky sneak, would be a nice finale. So I'm just trying to think of where the 
hell you could be. Because, like, the it was only the top left corner of the maze that was shown as a landmark. And I presume that this would be a Melduga. Fight the Brute of the Sand. And even the Gerudo Guard mentioned that it was a odd Melduga. Hmm. Alright, so first things first, we'll put on our outfit again. We'll teleport back and get more information. And then maybe even take a sand seal out. Normally, it does not elude me. We'll go talk to the guard lady again, see if we can get more precise location for Tracy. I'd love to. Let's see. Her strange Melduga spotted near East Barrens. Hmm. Near East Barrens. It is East Barrens. And it did say kind of, but it, hmm. Maybe I actually saw, like, it was more down here. But no, because I could have sworn that it was, hmm. Well, either way, I guess I'll go rent another sand seal. And try and go find Tracy. We run a shop where we rent out sand seals. <laughs> may seem unlikely, but we're a thriving business. Considering that, like, sand seals are very handy for traversing the sands. Ah. Let's seal the deal. We're freezing to death. All right, back to the East Barrens we go. Hmm, I guess it could be that Tracy is at the outpost. And I just never went there. I could see this being a place where Tracy is looking for her scoop and she might tell me where the Melduga is. Hey Tracy, you here? Damn it. Hello. What's in this chest? I shall steal from you. Hmm, let's see. Because we want a swallow bow, because a swallow bow is needed for the other bow that we can make at the Rito. Kind of interesting. It seems like they drag themselves back home. So 
So East Barrens. Let's dive deeper into the Barrens, because it could be down here is where it was seen. Rather than more up where I thought it was. Then again, it's a Maldugo. You'd think it'd be very obvious to see. It's a giant Graboid. And I would like to, like, uh, talk to Tracy before... Like, finishing it. Yeah, yeah, shrine. I wonder if she's up there, trying to scout things out. They specifically said Tracy set out to seek out the weird Melduga. I think I've glitched things. Well, I guess since I'm out here, I might as well activate that shrine. Oh! Ominous. I just found the shrine, too. Uh, my throat, it's so dry. Can't move a muscle. This is really the end. I wish I could have one last taste, one sip of ice-cold noble pursuit. Huh. For some reason, that's kind of odd. I didn't expect there to just be a Gerudo lady. Just hanging out. <laughs> Dying. From YouTube chat. Hi, how was your day? Pretty good, I must say. Was in a positive mood. I just need to stop procrastinating and actually do things. I also made some spicy snack crackers, which is very nice. But so far for stream, it's also been going really good. We finished uh, Varuta's like segment of uh, the ballad of the uh, champions, champions ballad. And I do like hold that uh, water blight is a bitch. The daring to have a one-off thing that's odd, the Cryonis attack. Hmm? What is this? Could it be? Are you the pretty gal I saw in Gerudo Town? I'm right, aren't I? Don't try to hide it. It doesn't matter what you wear. Those eyes are all. Tra these eyes see all. Tracy wasn't born yesterday after all. Oh, oh I see, I see. It's because only women can enter Gerudo Town. Clever boy. That's quite the scoop, but I'm sure you had your reasons. I'll keep that gossip to myself. That's called integrity. But what about the Malduga? You probably guessed as much, but I'm tracking down some juicy gossip. Since you're here, I'll do you a favor and let you in on a rumor I haven't even published yet. Just when you thought you could relax. When the Divine Beast had settled and the lightning had stopped, <gasps> boom! A mysterious Melduga shows up. How's that for a scoop? Apparently the Gerudo soldiers tried fighting it, but normal swords didn't even make a dent. Uh... I wonder what weapon would work against something like that. Bombs? Oh, I see now. Hmm, interesting. Didn't even make a dent. Maybe lightning? Yeah, I know. I want to. I want to go back. Let me go back. Hey. Hey. I've never fought a Melduga before. Where is it? It's on my tail. 
Never fought you before, so. Oh, Meldu King. Jesus. It is my pleasure. No, I have no idea how to even get it to pop out. Also, let me eat one of my superfoods. Oh, that's this is bad. idea how to mm, go fast. Okay, we got out of its range, apparently. What if I bombed you? Nope. I should have fought a normal Melduga. Because I genuinely don't know how to get this guy, like, out of the sands. Oh, you have to drop a bomb so it eats it. That's my bad. Again, that was probably my... I probably... Because I thought I couldn't... So I have to, like, uh, get off and drop a bomb. Or, like, sneak up on it. Throw a bomb, it eats it. Because it's just that I can't spawn a bomb. But very interesting. Very bad at hunting Melduga. Just very, very bad at hunting these kind of things. I guess that kind of worked. What if? What about I? Nope. Yes, I ran out of my electric arrows. Come and get me. A lot of damage to you. Oh, I could probably use uh, Orbosa's Fury. Oh man, you're a freaky like sand lizard thing. Yeah, you gonna you wanna come get me? that just instant kill you? That would be hilarious if I was wasting all my time 
and the best way to kill you was Orbosa's Fury and just Orbosa's Fury. <laughs> I still beg of you, Meldu King, give me Melduga guts. And I'll have to go to Terrytown to stock up. Yep. A royal shield with a durability up. That's extra nice. So I'd definitely drop you for this. What about you? A golden bow, but it's a quick shot? Don't really care for you. And another golden bow, quick shot, which is a 14 damage. It's not good. It's not for me. A Gerudo spear, which is a long throw. Ah, you know what? We're never gonna do weapon connoisseur. We'll take a golden claymore. Alright, now we'll head back, activate it, talk to Tracy, and I should definitely make more hearty foods, because I'll probably need it. <laughs> Although it'd be hilarious if Calamity Ganon was just a nothing burger, and the Meldu King was the real final boss for me. Yeah, you! I saw everything! I can't believe you were able to defeat that weird Melduga! I'm speechless, me! Okay, not really, but this is a scoop written all over it! Mind if I ride to tell all about you? Hmm. I see, how unfortunate. You would have been swimming in female attention and adoring fans, you know? I mean it! You're that impressive! Well, that's your decision, to mess up. Well, I'll just have to dig around Gerudo Town for way more interesting scoops. You saw a guy get flown into the air like four times in a row by a weird Melduga and still kill it. It could have been Tracy Scoop, the immortal man. Is he here to destroy us all? Like, I think if I was able to drop a bomb while still riding the sand seal, I think I probably would have, like, uh, if have it feel just a bit more neat. <laughs> you the best. Thank you very much. Even if I think, like... Hmm. Is there a... Ah, metal blocks that I can use to extend. Was, for a moment, I was just like, hmm, should I... Activates over here. And this little block should activate... An elevator. Oh, I see. Elevator go up. I grab. Elevator stay up there. These ones are neat. You stop physicsing and stay right there. Yeah, it's not gonna stick, though. Hmm. Oh, I see, I see. I actually see. Booyah! I like 
like these little electricity puzzles. They're neat. Oh no. What's this? Interesting. <laughs> interesting. Little odd in the controls, but interesting. Hmm. I shall leave you. Even though, hmm. Actually, how good are you? I think you're just 44 or something. Just 44. Hmm. But the problem is like... Uh, you're basically a little slightly worse daybreaker, so I shall keep you here in case I need you later. Melduga down. And Melduga shrine down. Remember <laughs> to stay hydrated, everybody. The desert challenges waits for no one. And now there's just one more. Yiga Clan Hideout Part 2. If I really wanted to, I could just go over the Yiga Hideout. And a part of me kind of wants to, because presumably this is just going to be the Yiga Hideout, but harder. But let us go to the Yiga hideout. Hilarious that they're like, we gotta re like band together, rebuild the Yiga, steal from the Gerudo again. Of course, we're going to go ahead and save. And I'm going to try and do my, like, secret tech that I did before, which is go into the main, like, foyer of the, like, uh, Yiga hideout and save. Because for some reason, they don't allow you to save during the sneaky parts. Cease your existence. Like, what bow am I using anyway? Hmm. I guess I'll use the golden bow. Oh, I, yeah, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. Get out of here. <laughs> the zoom in. <laughs> the zoom in immediately just... Blacked my brain. Hmm. So maybe I do need to begin at the end. Because it seems that they have shut me out. <laughs> Well, 
guess time to climb up. <laughs> From YouTube chat, do you know how to bomb parry? Is that like where you... I don't know, like, because I know there's a lot of, like, physics engine shenanigans that you can do with this game. And I think there is one that's kind of like, oh, you, like, like, kind of bomb surf to a degree. But no, I do not know how to do the extreme techs of this game. Some of which that were then patched later, if I recall. And here I thought that would be sneaking through Yiga Clan territory 2.0. Instead, it seems like we just have to go above and beyond. Sneak in from above. I could have sworn that hole got bigger. Because I believe... Which it could mean because... No, because it was kind of up on the map. From what I recall. Could be wrong, and we can always go back down to... Look and see. But I could have sworn that it was more like up here. Just put a bomb down and parry right when you explode it. Hmm. Don't think I'd be good at that. I'm not, like, sometimes I can parry good if I really lock in, but I just know that if I tried to bomb parry, I'd be wasting so much life. Oh, Ferocious. Hello. Completely missed you. Flying above. We also saved Nadra earlier, like at the beginning of the stream, actually. Mm, it's a monster hideout. Mm. Luckily, that didn't catch me in it. That would have sent me falling down. Hmm. Considering that they specifically said that their orb was stolen by the Yiga, it could be that either it was more follow this path, or actually go through the Yiga place backwards, which could actually be it. Hmm, it's starting to look probably it. Yeah, because those are just normal balls. Huh, random chest. Are you going to be a bomb? <laughs> ah, kind of. Interesting that the, in that the monsters are like, we're going to set a trap for Hylians. They love chests. Why do the Yiga even have a giant hole? Oh, people? Why are there people here? I shall put on my sneaky sneaky. And hopefully be able to save? I can save. <laughs> what are you trying to do? I am doing the Champion's Ballad. Right now we have to sneak in through... Yiga Clan territory, grab the orb, and apparently throw it in the big hole. Considering that the quest says, throw the orb underground. Yeah. 
I hear the Ica clan were taken out by a traveling swordsman, and yet Ooh. there's still an awful lot of them around. They seem to be hoarding bananas too. Maybe they're still up to no good. I know one thing for sure. The orb they stole from the Gruda tribe is in their second floor storage area. I know where that is. Huh. But getting there is too dangerous. Staying alive is essential to being a great treasure hunter. Huh? Mm, are you looking for treasure too? The Ica clan. They took one of the Gerudo tribe's treasures in there. A sacred orb or something. It looked like it could sell for a high price, so I followed them, but well... Now I'm thinking I should probably back away while I still can. But you don't think they're not planning to throw the sacred orb into that big gaping hole like the legend says, right? How'd they even get the... Like... Orb back if it was thrown into the big gaping hole? Let's see, can I save in here? Cannot save right now, so only out. I gotta be careful, because I know roughly, because the, the storage area is there. Hmm. Okay, I know there's three. I think I might be able to go strike that guy down. I wish there was like a slightly better camera to look around with. But I think I might be able to sneak up on this guy. Oh, I, I can't one-shot you? Oh, no. There's no one-shotting these guys. Instead, I'm gonna be one-shot. So this is pure sneaking, all right? Let's roughly get a handle on things. Because I think these guys are probably still on the we one-shot you game. Let's see. Can I get to the up here... Yep, they stole one shot. <laughs> Alright, interesting. You cannot one shot the Yiga clan guys anymore. Unless uh, that technically didn't count as a sneak attack, which I thought that it should. Hmm. Let's see what? Maybe I could try and one shot them with. What's my strongest weapon? Seems to be my ancient battle axes and boulder breaker. Try again, just because we can. But this is probably a get in, sneak out. And they're, cause, considering that this guy is so isolated, they probably don't want you one shotting him. Nope, I can, just for some reason that one didn't. Okay, weird. Probably because he noticed I was there at the final moment, so technically it didn't count as a sneak strike. Probably, maybe? So that was just weird. And I believe there's only three of them still. Or maybe I just, I don't know, because I want to make sure he's not going to look a weird way. Okay. 
Okay, good. I wonder if there's a game with a stealth system where, like, even if you're, like, a, an enemy can, like, see your drawn weapon from around a corner if it's sticking out. I want to take care of all the guys down here. From YouTube chat, what are you playing on? I'm playing on Switch hardware. I don't even think that my computer would properly be able to run like a Breath of the Wild emulated. Oh shit. He turned around far too quickly. Very rude. I'll just reload. Hmm. So more than likely, the best p way to come at that guy would be to, like, sneak about from the front rather than from that way. Still take them out in the same order, but sneak about in a different order. sneak about in my super sneaky Sheikah garments. I wonder why all the Yiga just really like app uh, not apples, bananas. What depraved initiation psychology do they force the Yiga through? To force them to love bananas. Also, it's very cold in here. Very interesting. Alright. And it'll be better to try and sneak about this way, I think. And then wait for him. Okay, good. There's blocks blocking the range. You should be able to see the bananas. Good. And then I just hope that there aren't any, like, other Yiga that might get in the way. Thank you, Daruk. We'll quickly climb up here. Try and make sure there aren't any others. Huh, interesting. I think it ticked down to very, very cold once, because I'm missing a little bit of a heart. Alright. Seems to be this area is cleared. had like super secret security like a single yiga 
You know, it'd be extra funny if, like, you could come in here and steal, like, the big orb. And they wouldn't know. They wouldn't notice at all. But if you picked a single banana, instantly they know. I just realized there's probably challenge runs of stuff like this. Where people go through without killing a single Yiga. Well, I guess less kill. They all teleport away. I love how they go for the bananas exactly. They just really love their bananas. They look at them. They think it's cool. And into the big hole they go. Hey, Koga. Friend. You have it now. Is it going to rise out of the... I was half hoping, he, hoping that it would actually rise on a pillar of earth out of the hole. Could have had some dark comedy where Koga's mask rises with it. Or maybe a hint that Koga actually survived and that he just didn't want to deal with fighting the hero. Like, maybe that was what is real like, special move was. Pretending to fall down the hole so that he might escape his obligations. So yeah, aside from that one wonky, like, stealth snafu, I can only assume that maybe it's because I didn't lay down bananas. So there was like a split second of the Yiga being like, hmm, there's somebody here, and therefore not being stealthable. Oh. Inside the box, huh? What do you mean inside the box? How many there are of each? Okay, the purple, there seems to be at least four. One pink, two green, one orange. Alright. I believe that there are four of you. Let me look again. Two orange. Two green, one pink. <laughs> Interesting that they seem to design new balls specifically for this. I think it was two green, two orange. Let me double check. Two green, two orange. Oh, yeah, it seems like they made new balls just for this. Booyah. And then how many metal? I think just two. Like, do I actually bring the metal orb down, or...? I think there's a way to get the metal orbs out. So where's the secret metal orb I'm supposed to fill the holes with? To presumably get the treasure. Huh. Almost I'm blind. Let me shake the box around. Yeah, 
it should just be a handful of metal balls. One, two, three. Oh, three metal balls. No idea how to get them out, though. Because I presume I need a ball. Ah, well, I don't need that. This seems a little obtuse for a bonus treasure, so I'll just leave it. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. You can look at balls and count them. Now that you've collected three emblems, you must go to the divine beast of Arnaboris. And off we'll go. Thunder Blight shouldn't be terrible. It depends on how well I can handle the speed aspect. Because I forget how I fought Thunder Blight when it comes to speed. You're throwing away treasure. You do realize how wasteful that is, right? If you didn't want it, I would have been happy to take it off your hands. Mm. Oh, you threw the precious treasure down below. What were you thinking? I was thinking... I'm the hero. Remember to stay hydrated. Goodbye. You know, I think I just realized one reason why the Yiga in their home base could be so powerful. It's because they're eating Mighty Beat Bananas. And by eating Mighty Bananas, they can one-shot you. Yep. Oh, maybe I have to stand on this rock. <laughs> At least I thought it would be interesting to stand on the rock, but oh well. Why did I have to get closer than the rock to activate this? To the one who approaches this divine beast, in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. In exchange for Naboris' emblems, you will be granted the chance to tread through the realm of memories. Those who lack determination will find this trial unforgiving. Do not take this place lightly, nor dismiss it as merely a world within your mind. The truth is much deeper than you know. I wonder what clothes I'll be wearing. Because I think I wore the fire armor in, no, like, uh, Rutania, Zora armor in Ruta my Rito armor in Meadow. So will I be wearing the Vi or the Vo armor? Oh, I'm wearing the Vo armor. Never did buy that. I wonder if I could enter Gerudo Town if I wore the Vo armor. This illusionary realm was created from the depths of your memories. The enemy you shall face is a product of the fear that dwells within. You must overcome this fear to proceed. The battle is a trial of the soul. You must emerge victorious using only the tools provided. I wonder if I even have any, like, arrows. I don't think they'd help. Yep, no arrows, it looks like. So why are you running away, your dead body? Oh, 
Oh, that actually worked. You know, for a monster that was, like, made to take on Orbosa, I figured you'd have, like, something against her lightning. Now begin dropping those electro poles. Or maybe the second mode disables electricity against him. Where'd you go? Because first off, there you are. Dang it. A little too far away for me to... Oh, that actually hit you, but now you're in a place that's hard to get to. Oh, ow. Rude, I thought you were hit. I want to smack you. Oh. Oh, very rude. But I guess it makes sense. Again, very rude. Um. Yeah, I don't think I like your second phase. You're just being a jackass. Darn. I dropped the daybreaker, you say? Yeah, because this guy's an asshole. Very rude to have that guy be very floaty when I have no arrows. Rude game. I almost died. At least I was quicker on the up uh, take for exploding a rod in its face. I guess just goes to show that these things were no joke for the poor champions. Oh. Are you still adrift in thought? You seem lost to the whims of your mind. Oh, pardon me. I suppose it's none of my business. Ah, wandering around here and listening to the anecdotes about Champion Orbosa has truly invigorated oh. me. In fact, it has inspired me to honor her in my own way, separate from my teacher's unfinished song. That is why I felt inclined to roost here near the divine beast Von Naboris, which Rebosa herself mastered. Mm. I've written a song to try and capture the essence of Champion Rebosa. Recall Naboris's champion of sand Before she was lost to the land Chief Rebosa's heart was strong so the princess came along. Real cool to see. And here they have to bring, yeah, like lady maidens to do, come along with Zelda. Not only are they planning to resurrect Calamity Ganon, it seems the Yiga clan is also after our treasured heirloom. And it took him a hundred years to get it. You have my word. I won't rest until the Calamity fall. Gerudo Chief Obosa, on behalf of Hyrule and its king, I thank you. I wonder if she was the first one to be recruited. <laughs> you so serious, Urbosa. Oh my. <laughs> I can't say the same. Ten years ago, you rarely smiled, my little bird. 
Obosa, I feel like you've called me Little Bird before. I was wondering where you got that name from. Your dead mother. Huh? Also, goddamn those hips. And face me. Ah, Yiga clan. Unlike you traitors, I prefer to fight my enemies head on. She just has a sixth sense for Yiga, I guess. Do your worst. <laughs> awesome fight. <laughs> she can parry. <laughs> of course, doesn't even strike him, just sn slaps him with her pommel. I think the lightning would be more <laughs> fatal than the pommel strike. For our princess, you may keep your lives. Now go! <sighs> you asked me why I called you Little Bird. When you were but a small child, my dear friend called you that with the sweetest smile that ever graced Zelda's our land. Zelda's lullaby of motif was there. You mean mother? It was ten long years ago. Your mother had just left this world, yet her little bird still spread her wings and became the beacon of light Hyrule needed. Sometimes I forget myself and get lost in the past. Super neat. Oh. Hmm, though she was a fierce warrior, the Gerudo chief was also a loving friend of Hyrule's princess. Mm. So, what do you think of a Champion Obosa's song? By writing a, cha a song that honors the heart of a champion Orbosa, I feel closer than ever to my dear teacher. Oh. The missing verses of an ancient song. I think the perfect setting would be the Hyrule Castle in the distant past. I must say, you are an impressive bow. You may now wield Urbosa's fury far more often. If in you combat I <laughs> remember Hyrule, to use it. Hero, take care of our princess. I'm leaving that honor in your capable hands. Arbosa's Fury Plus. It requires less time to recharge. I'm Mars Koshia. I must commend you for conquering the trial thus far. The door to the final sh trial is now open at the Shrine of Resurrection. Go and face your destiny. Well, I guess we've come this far. Might as well. Da -da 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 -da. Yes, we're going to the final trial. Let's go to the final trial. I don't know, just like the fact that apparently the voice gave me its name, presumably a monk. I feel like I'm going to have to battle through a million guardians. Please don't tell me I have to fight him with, like, the, those million guardians with the one-hit stick again. To the brave soul who wishes to master a divine beast, you have done well to return to this place of beginnings. You have overcome many challenges thus far. Now allow me to bestow upon you one final trial. Return the Sheikah Slate to the terminal. You first obtained it from here. Do so, and the final passageway will reveal itself.
first I'll save. Because I think dangers are coming. Now, let's see. Just don't steal my slate. I don't know if I can destroy Shika technology things like this. Oh, I'm being locked in. Oh boy. Descending. Please beware of trimmers. This place is an elevator now. The entire room was an elevator. Oh, it gave it to me before the elevator ride even ended. The door is opening before the elevator ride even ended, it seems. Well, this is like a Sheikah Vault looking place. Sheikah Vault Tech. Welcome, hero. You have overcome many trials to reach me. Now it is time to face the final trial. More like final dungeon. This trial is a complex labyrinth. To start, you will need a map. Literally is a dungeon. You may obtain map information from the guidance stone. Well, I guess it makes sense. We're trying to control a divine beast. Lava ain't that hot. Literally ain't. But very interesting. I was not expecting there to be a DLC dungeon. I thought it would just be a big shrine, which I guess technically that could be just a dungeon, but still. This place feels big. How big is it? Okay, not that big. Just a few rooms. Divine beast controls have been enabled. But it's underground. Maybe it just hasn't been excavated. Change rotation directions. Let's see. Well, I guess... also have to turn. Probably not the first one I'm supposed to do. I don't have access to any of my... graces and gifts. 
Hmm. Okay, so the, for the first one, it probably has to do with you. can get onto that. Okay, so the first way to make progress is through here, it seems. Since there's fire, I'll put on my fireproof suit. Won't help with lava, but will help for the fire, so I can just ignore it. Oh, there was a ditch. Okay, so I need to wait until it lines up with that we do. It seems. Let's actually reverse. Because I think I need to keep a close eye on which way it's turning. To really get it out. Which is very interesting. A little bit slow, but interesting. Thank you for not falling into the fire after all that. <laughs> and also, thank you for being heavy enough to not bounce out into the lava. And there is a treasure chest up there. So presumably if I stand in the doorway, I should be able to get to it. Deactivating one lock of the door. So yeah, like if I stand in here, I should be able to get to the treasure chest. And maybe even use this to get to elsewhere in the dungeon, too. <laughs> Be something I can use. Cobble Crusher. Well, I guess technically I can use it. Now, let's see. I guess now that I'm here... Well, actually, I could just use this to probably get to the middle. There doesn't seem to be anything connected to that one to make it go. Now 
Let's see. Eh. Ah, I got it. A Grudo shield, something that's not really good for me. So let's see. Oh, I think I see. I need to lock it into the door to make it go. Okay. Interesting. Go. This activates the door. Something locked on to me, at least tried. That's not what I want to say. So now that should get it moving, I believe. Although I think that could have worked for either one. Which is kind of interesting. to getting that lined up. So I think... Hmm. Trying to think, because there is a... I can't pull it all the way off. But then what's the purpose of you? Okay, it's locked in, so it doesn't want to. I don't think that's, like, up there. No, it's not. So I don't... Because hmm. we need to seemingly line them up. Like the electricity things. By 
genuinely have no idea how to do that. Actually, thought. Maybe spinning the other way will line them up? Maybe. Be hilarious if it was just that simple. But you never know. Hilarious. I think that did it. <laughs> Sometimes it really is just that simple. I thought it was going to have to be a lot harder. Just for some reason, I thought it would have to be harder. Just overthought it, I did. Oh, what the fuck? Very rude. enemies like this. Dungeon. Very rude. Triple rude. Mean Guardian. Let's see. So we have to plug this in somewhere. Uh, no idea where. Probably more aligned in the area I pulled it. Okay, I think I see. Maybe. Come on, line up and get in there. until it activates. There we go. Now we can grab this chest. Bomb arrows. Ominous! 
guess since we activated you, we'll do you next. Oh, I can actually... Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> I was like, oh, I can get up here from the ground floor. Nope. Hmm. Although now I have the thought, like... Each one... Swing bullshit. Get out of here. So I want that weapon because Cobble Crusher, get out. At least the other one allows for some bonus damage against uh, guardians. Swallow bow, I already have one for purposes, but definitely believe that that is for turning off so that I can use my paraglider without being eaten alive. Probably. Or actually. Aha! Twisty turny everything. And now. That was close. Now the question is what do I do up here? Oh! No? Oh, yes! Aha! Very interesting. Interesting that that also freezes, like, the entire contraption. I guess it makes sense if it's tied in, I stop that. Forces stops everything else, and it's super Shika material, so nothing breaks. Now there's a flying guardian, because nothing is sacred. Let's see. Potentially I could ignore it, it is a flyer. Temporary access. What if it was going the opposite direction? I want to see if it'll last long enough. Nope. The opposite is the only way. A 
then in here, there doesn't seem to be anything. Oh, maybe? There's water. So maybe I need to... So what if I reverse the flow now? Aha! And just like in the other room, I was thinking like, hmm, I wonder if I'll have to use a uh, cryonis in here sometime. It was just like, well, it's perfect timing. Perfect timing indeed. So more than likely specific ones I need to freeze or not. only guess. Yeah. <laughs> what happens if I send it that way? Okay, you don't like going that way. You want to go the other way. Gotcha. Just a Zora spear? I'm sorry, but that's just not good enough. Interesting. Mactivate. Hopefully this doesn't spawn like a Chica Henox or something. You can now access the deepest area. Oh boy. Hell. Let's see, I've got the Master Sword. I can, can I? All right, you have a, your own cutscene. Why does it look like there's clouds there, even though it's probably just rock? I don't know why. I, I, I'm gonna, I don't know, eat some spicy peppers. I don't know, it's like, considering that there's no, like, a, it's just that it feels like, since this is a divine beast, what's my blight gonna be? Or well, since it's been underground for so long, will I not, there not be a, I don't know, I don't really have an element. Courage light, blight? Also, for some reason, your pedestal thing seems a lot more ornate than others. You have proven to possess the power of a true hero. 
Yeah? In the name of the goddess Hylia. But it... What? Why? How, you're moving? How? You're you're a mummy. What the fuck? Why are you moving? I offer this final trial. And why are you like a giant? Oh boy, I'm being abducted. By a mummy. Uh, I get it, this is like Sheikah Blight. Where are we? And why you have electro music? Oh, this is just floating in the sky, okay. Okay, I think you're just a super boss, aren't you? Let us begin. Oh boy! Monk Mos. Oh, I'm missing terribly. Jesus. But, uh, you have Thunder Blight shit? Oh, you, you're gonna wreck my shit, aren't you? Oh, that's just phase one. So you're basically what Koga could have been, aren't you? Ah, oh, shit. Oh. I found you. Oh. What the hell? I wasn't expecting that. Personally, I feel like... Oh, and you, the, your clones can hurt me? Well, I get Shadow Clone Jutsu. What the hell? Ow. Maybe I need to use bombers against you. Oh, it's raining. All right, I'm whittling down his clones. I think you should still take guardian damage. This is, I gotta say, a very interesting boss. weapon. Dragon Bone Club. You 
jerk. Oh, that's just wasting my weapon durability. The real question is, why haven't you offered yourself to fight Ganon on... You fucking no expansion jutsu? Why aren't you fighting Ganon? Okay, that's not doing any damage. What the fuck? Like, I don't think that this is, uh... Alright, I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Oh, it's tipping? Like, uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, he kind of hurt himself. Where are you going? Oh, yeah. Get smacked. I didn't lightning you with your own diddly da, but I did do some damage. You know, I might as well use the scimitar of the seven. What? What is that? What is this? Ow. Definitely need to eat now. Dang it. I can only assume I need to get it up to the top of his hat. Because that's where the lightning is. Okay, that didn't do much. But again, you have expansion jutsu. Why are you not fighting Ganon? Take this. I take your ankles. I take your ankles. Oh! Fair. I take your ankles. I don't care. I don't even know what you're doing, but ankles. Ow. Oh, he's sending minions. Ankles. Ankles. Wiki feet. I can just out tank you, big man. I win. Like, were you the grand monk order god man, or were all the monks capable of this? Considering that the Yiga clan kind of have remnants of this. And they're not even fully trained? Koga had remnants of this! Why weren't you all just fighting Ganon all this time? You face the challenge with great courage. You have erased all doubt from my mind. You are a true hero. As such, you were destined to take hold of this ancient masterpiece. I forget, what is it? 
this giant floating platform. It is evolving. Is it an orbital laser? I was not expecting a boss fight to make me this almost a five hour stream. Oh, it's a... Oh, it's the motorcycle. It looks a lot bigger. Granted, it is a horse. I guess that makes sense. Of course, Link's Divine Beast would be a, b a, a horse. Huh. I know. I completely forgot about the Master Cycle, to be honest. Completely forgot about it. Distilling rune, you mean distilling the bike. Master Cycle Zero. Insert materials into the tank to convert them into fuel. Huh. So now where are you gonna go? You gonna fuck off? That which you have obtained is a masterpiece of innovation created for the one true hero. A bike! Hero of Hyrule. May the goddess smile upon you. I had to go through all of that. Fight all of the blights. Fight a monk to get a motorcycle. Hyrule's driver's ed is something else. And you're not even going to do anything. You're not even going to disappear. You're just going to sit around like a bum. <laughs> it's now added. It's now added to the loading screen. Oh, that's hilarious. That's amazing. Oh, Cass. You've finished your... Master's Unfinished Song. Oh? Mm. Ah, it's you. Mm. I can't put my feather on it, but I get the feeling you're even more accomplished than you were the last we met. I happen to have the perfect song for someone as esteemed as you. I would love to sing it for you. Ooh, are we going to get another memory? My teacher's unfinished song, the one I told you about. Oh. I finally completed the key verses. Mm. This lofty location is the perfect stage to sing this special song. It takes place 100 years ago at Hyrule Castle. Yes, the very castle you can still see over yonder. It's about the magnificent inauguration of the Chosen Champions. The, the inauguration! We, yeah, all the diaries talked about it! If you would please listen to this special song. The Champion's Ballad. No. Also, I gotta say again, Cass is a beautiful bird man. Inauguration. Welcome, warriors. I'd like to thank you for joining me here today. And for your bravery in accepting this fateful task. I officially appoint you Hyrule's champions and bestow upon Oh, they're even embroidered the with the garb. individual divine that beasts. Is a symbol of the royal family. One that has been passed down for countless generations. Those garments you now wear were all crafted oh, by my daughter, neat. Zelda. Zelda, I trust you with the task only a daughter of the royal family can fulfill. Lead our champions, princess. And together, protect our kingdom from the threat of Calamity Ganon. 
That's cool. And they even have fireworks. Huh. Oh, even more memory. A little party. Yeah. I tell you, those formal shindigs really take it out of me. Hmm. This is the Sheikah Slate, eh? <laughs> Just taking it, it. Apparently, there are more uses for it than we originally thought. Sadly, we've yet to decipher all of it. Don't its drop it. Good. <laughs> Hand it to Mifa. The Pass it around. showed me something strange recently. Somehow it can create true-to-life images. Wow. I would love to see it. Um, princess? May I ask a special favor of you? <laughs> Could you take a picture of all us champions? All right. This spot should work nicely. Oh, Pura? Pura? I presume. Keep your eyes on the Sheikah Slate, everyone. Or someone else. Uh, Daruk, can you crouch down a bit? You're as big as Death Mountain. Hmm? Or it could be Impa, maybe. What's with the glum face, princess? Give me a big smile. <laughs> and Rivali. <laughs> posing. Rivali, move your tail closer to the group. <sighs> Sigh. Nifa, you look so tense. Deep breaths, okay? Right. Like a professional photographer. <laughs> Stay just like that. Here we go. Smile. Click snap. <laughs> and of course, Daruk is like, I'm gonna make this a big thing. That's great. I love it. That's great. Kind of a happy memory. And nope, that was Pura, because snap. <laughs> After this ceremony, they would all forever be known as champions. My teacher always advised me to write songs that transport the listener to the moment in time you're singing of. <gasps> now, I finally feel I understand what he meant. And the true power of music. Mm. By the way, I found this when I was looking through my teacher's notes. I was thinking, you should be the one to keep it. Mm. Your courageous heart reminds me of the indomitable spirit of the champions. I know you'll treasure it. Picture of the champions. A picture of Zelda and the five champions, taken after the inauguration ceremony at Hyrule Castle. Cass gifted you this precious item after completing the Champion's Ballad. A final thought. May the souls of the champions who watch over Hyrule rest in peace. Link. Link. I have watched your journey, every step. You have overcome every challenge with great courage. You have to have impressive magical eyes with then. With the power that you have attained, I am certain you can defeat Calamity Ganon. True. And I like that Cass is here. The Champion's Ballad complete. And we shall save. <laughs> From YouTube chat. Here's what's going on, Neon. It's been, what, over four hours? Yep. Because I thought, like, oh, we'll just go do Mifa and uh, Orbosa's, like, ballads. Then slam, the game is like one more thing. It's like, oh, sure, it'll be a little thing. It was a whole dungeon. Is now ready to roll. It was a whole dungeon. There was a boss fight against a monk. It was a whole thing. <laughs> From Twitch chat. All of this for a bike and a cool picture. Indeed.
What do you got to say, Cass? Mm. I dearly hope we meet again someday. As for the souls of the champions watching over Hyrule, may they finally rest in peace. I love Cass, man. Cass is great. So that's pretty much most things. Most things. All that's really left is the final sword trial, I guess. And then any other, like, things I want to do. But most of them, I don't think so. Because it's just like, oh, minor things like the mask, the teleportation thing, the various clothes, and just general, hey, do more quests. And I'm not sure... Like, if any of these would really be, like, super interesting to me. So yeah, next time, I think we might just go and take on Ganon. But first, uh, I'm gonna head to Hatino. Or not, uh, Akala, not Hatino. And see what kind of things we can get from Robbie. Because I might just stock up on Ancient Arrows if I can. So that I can just obliterate all the stupid guardians around Hyrule Castle. <laughs> Thanks for the stream and thank you for watching. So what I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to talk to Robbie. See if there's anything in the his creation diddly D. Then we'll go get the Great Eagle Bow remade. Hey, hey, beep, beep, familiar name missing. Oh, I need normal arrows for this, too. And then ancient short sword, ancient blade saw. Does 55 damage? Jesus. Ancient bow, I'll still go with my normal thing, like... Eh, I think I'll just, uh... Create ancient arrows. Yeah, I, I might just go and buy a bunch of arrows from like a. Okay, because so, ancient arrows will definitely come in handy. Next, we'll head here so that we can go down, buy a bunch of arrows from, uh, what did I call it? I forget the, the village name. I completely forget the name of the village. We'll buy more arrows, go fix the Great Eagle Bow, and then next stream, we'll probably be ready to face Ganon. <laughs> Yeah, Neon, the Sheikah Monk is still kicking it alive after all these 10,000 years. Like, I did know that the Sheikah Monks were alive. I just didn't expect one to twitch, stand up, and say, Yo, little twink, fight me. And again, like, unless he was basically the super monk that just kicks all the ass... Why the hell weren't all of the monks, like, fighting Ganon? Why didn't they all stand up to fight? Not to mention, also, thought, does this mean that all the Sheikah were originally capable of that, but, uh, they got, like, uh, shut down because, like, oh, we're scared of them. We're scared of the, the Sheikah. So all of the Sheikah listened to those little babies? Of like, ah, we're scared of them. Oi! <laughs> Came to sell stuff. Because I have probably plenty of things to sell. So I can probably buy more arrows at a later date. I don't need that many. <laughs> Saved myself selling some diamonds. You know what? I'll just buy some a bunch of stuff then. <laughs> I 
and I'll sell more stuff so I have the funds to make ancient arrows. sell some of the excess because I don't think I'll need a lot. And we'll just go ahead and sell three. <laughs> now we head over here to grab ourselves the Great Eagle's Bow. And then I think we might just be a able to take on Ganon. My only downside is that, like, the motorcycle is, like, a really cool thing. But I kind of already been everywhere. And I can just teleport around, so there's not much of a reason to really need... I think I already have a swallow bow. I need more wood, mm. damn! It's always the wood! It's always the damnable wood. All this effort for single bundles of wood. I need five boondles. Five boondollars of wood. So I don't even think there's anybody that sells wood. I have to go get it. I'm the only proprietor of selling wood in the entire universe. Da, 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 da. Yeah, the Champion's Ballad was a lot of fun. It's just I completely forgot the secret to beating Water Blight. And I still think it's a little wonky of a design because nowhere else do you really use Sheikah Slate powers that offensively against enemies. Especially not to counteract like an attack coming towards you. Ah. Take it. And grant me ultimate. From the YouTube chat, maybe the ancient Sheikah has found a kind of immortality through mummification? Maybe, because I mean, all of the Sheikah are alive when they give you the uh, spirit orbs. It's just they crumble and fade. Oh, neat. Hello, Molly. No, it was the like Hyrule feels like it's perpetually like day or like early morning. But I do believe that that will be it for now. We did the champion's ballad, and it was a glorious, glorious time. Got to see and hear more of the various champions. Got to hear more from Cass. Next time, considering that there aren't that many quests I really care to do. Because, like, I don't think there are that many left that I'd really care about. So more than likely, next time... We might not even do the final sword trial. We might just head on and take on Ganon. So, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, my link tree has links to everything that I do. Linktr.ee slash Neon Icy Wings, or direct links in my various bios, descriptions, and link places of the various sites. In my link tree are links to my edited content YouTube channel, my streaming YouTube channel, or streaming Twitch, depending on your preference, with all of these streams being uploaded to the YouTube channel after the fact. 
I also upload little arts like my character in the corner and in slate art to the various websites and social medias. And then I also do some writing and stories that I upload to a few sites. And the final site linked to my link tree is my Patreon, which is just a glorified donation bucket for the extraordinarily kind. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated. And thank you for spending your time with me. Bye. 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 <laughs>